and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the fourth edition of the Farnham Lights live stream show as they host the Bristol Aztecs. Ladies and gentlemen, today's show is brought to you by d Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, Cheers Mate Productions, and we would like to always thank you for watching. Once again, we're going to bring you a great show as the Farnham Rise about to host the Bristol Aztecs here for the BAFNL Premier South. We would also like to thank our referees today. Your refs on the floor will be your head ref, Keith Wickham, your ump, Richard Moger, your head linesman, Pete Parson, your line judge, Andrew Morell, and your back judge will be Henry Young. And as always, we would like to thank BAFRA. And if you'd like to know more information, please see BAFRA at www.bafra.info. That's right, that is bafra.info. We really, really, really want to thank you ever so much. We're going to have an exciting game. We'll be having the, co the toying cost pretty soon. If you were here with us last week, as the Farnham Knights were hosting the London Warriors, what an exciting game. As always, the London Warriors came here to turn out. To Today they will be facing um uh, the Farnham Knights will be facing the Aztecs. The Aztecs last week were, got, were up against the Olympians where they did dominate the London Olympians. So this should be a very exciting game today as we are about to bring you the live stream show here in Farnham, Surrey at Monk Lane Farnham Rugby Stadium. Uh, the players are about uh, shaking hands at this time. We'll stand by and let's take it to the ref on the field as they are about to have the coin toss. Right on the field for the Knights, we have number 66, Outweight, number 89, we have um, Godfrey, I'm sorry about that, number 25, Ampleford, and 57, DC. Number 12 for the Aztecs is uh, Sean Cook. Quarterback in today will be Nathan Webb for the Aztecs. Number 15, uh, Victor Foley. Some of the key players here for the Aztecs. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like the kickoff team is going to be taking the field. Oh, we are ready for a game. As always, we like to hear from you. You know where to find us, hashtag BAFA. That is hashtag BAFA. Be a part of the conversation. Let's hear all about you today. You know how to send your questions, your streaming answers. We'll send them out to you. Any shout outs you have and all of your comments are most welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you're ready for a great show as I, I am ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. So that'll be Joe Cassidy back to receive for the Aztecs. Kicking off should be Mr. Quinn. Going on Quinn, we'll get a confirmation in a, more, in a moment as the special teams are about to break up on their huddle. Barnum Knights are wanting to bring a, on a home victory. Being shut out so far this season at home. Aztecs have one win under their belt. That was last week. So this should be a good, good uh, com competition today. Number uh, 99, Niven will be kicking off for the Knights. Oh, and look at the special teams kick off right away. The Farnham Knights are trying to get possession of the ball. What an onside kick. Did you see that as they start right off? Bellari, number 85, saying that they have a little bit of piece of that ball. Looks like the Aztecs may have it. Let's get the official ruling. What a play. The Farnham Knights start off with a little bit of a surprise. Neven does an onside kick. Um, I wonder if we can get a, a play back, a look back at that play. And here it is. There is the onside kick. Beautiful through the hands of the Aztecs and through the hands of the linebacker. And there we go. Um, that was almost picked up by Godfrey. So the Knights are really putting the pressure on the Aztecs and letting them know where they are right off of the game. Aztecs about to take the ball. That'll be Nathan Webb on the quarterback. Aztecs will take the ball on their own 35 yard line. First and 10, Bristol. Victor Foley, number 15, the tie back. 
Quarterback's looking for his man, and he is incomplete, intended for number 82. That was Webb looking for number 82, the wide receiver for the Aztecs. Pass is incomplete. Good coverage there by the Farnham Knights. That's going to be second and 10, Bristol. Hey, get louder now. Get louder. Oh, look at as we have that incomplete pass. That was almost there. Uh, Tom Tame there, number 38, could almost pick that off. That's going to be second and 10. Foley in the eye bat. <laughs> Way about the shotgun. This player in motion. We got the snap. They hand it off to a Foley. Foley's looking for the left side, and he's finally wrapped up. A short gain. We all we do have a flag on the play. Looks like we may have some motion there by the Aztecs. Let's, let's get the official ruling there by our head referee today. Illegal formation by the offense, five men in the backfield, the penalties declined, third down. Well, did you see that strategic uh, play there by uh, Pete Tutal? Pete decided to take the down. That's going to be third and long for the Aztecs. Good call by Pete Tutal. Third and long eight, Bristol. Tim Webb. This is eye back position. And there's the pressure by the Knights, and the pass is up, and it's incomplete. Once again, intended for number 82 off the left side. Good pass protection there by the Farnham Knights. That is going to be a fourth down situation. Strategically played well. Let's take another look at that play and the pressure that the defensive line put on uh, Mr. Webb there. And as you can see, good pass protection there. That zone was working. We had Ampleford there. We also had number 21 for the Knights. That play was never going to go anywhere. That is going to be the special teams coming in. And back to receive today is going to be number 89, Stephen Godfrey. Number four to punt for the Aztecs. Nice snap, and it is a fake. And look at them. He is cunning. He is looking for the first down, and he does have the first down. They do a fake punt there to uh, number four to the Aztecs. He takes it in a great run to the right side. Looks like he may have enough for the first down. Those chains will be going down. Let's take another look at that play. There's the audible called, and there it is. The blocking pulls to the right side, and he starts looking for that hole right off the right side tackle. We have downfield blocking going there by the Aztecs. We have tackles being broken there, and then Stevie is going to push him out of bounds, and that is going to be enough for a good first down. Midfield position, Bristol Aztecs. That's a first and 10 there for the ball marker on the far left side of the field. There we go. Webb, shotgun. Pressure is on, boom, there is a ball. It's handed to the court, to the tie back, number 28. He's breaking through some holes and they're moving the chains again. Let's look at the play action fake there by Webb as he hands it off to the eye back, number 28, and he's going to be close to the first down. Looks like he may have it. Great play action fake here. And look at the hole open on the right side, and he goes right on downfield. Number 35 there, Kid puts his hands on him, but he's breaking more tackles before he's finally brought down by Ampleford, number 25. Here comes Chewy, Suchi, number 95. He's going to uh, replace there, Arati, number 86, as he comes out. All right, let's get the uh, official ruling on the field there by Keith. They're going to bring the chains out. That was ever so close to the first down. Let's take a look there. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is a first down. They are going to move the chains down. That is definitely good enough there. That was at least about an inch and a half. And Keith does say that is going to be good enough for the first down. They will move the chains on down as the Bristol Aztecs start to push into uh, night territory. Well, state midfield position. Balls marked on about the 30 two-yard line of the Farnham Knights. First and 10, Bristol. <laughs> Quarterback number uh, 10, Nathan Webb, out the shotgun. Wide receiver 82 there for the uh, Aztecs. Play action fake, he looks for his man up the middle, and he does find it for he's finally wrapped up by uh, number 61, Stevie. Good job, Taft. Taft, number 61 for the Farnham Knights. Gain of about six yards. That was a nice pass right up the middle. As you can see, as the hole was starting to collapse, the pressure was being put on by the defensive line, and there he is, he finds his man. Right up the middle, great route, good play, good of a gain for about six yards. That's gonna be uh, second down. Matter about that's uh, good for eight yards. Second down, short two, Bristol. Man in motion. He hands it off to number 21, and he is caught in the backfield by Freddie. The play action fake does not work there for the Farnham Knights again as Freddie puts the speed on. Let's take another look at the pressure and how Freddie broke through the line there and was able to wrap his hands around the uh, offensive running back and have a gain of no gain. And there it is. Freddie comes right off that right tackle. No one hardly touches him. He puts the speed on and down goes number 21 for the uh, Bristol Aztecs. That's going to be a loss of yardage. Third and about seven for the Bristol Aztecs. That was Marshall Hahn, number 21. And we got motion on the line. Even saying that the offensive line move, let's get the official rule in there by Keith, over to the field. Full start, offense, number 71. Five yards, third down. And that is going to be a false start against the offensive line for the Bristol Aztecs, and that's going to push them back. That's going to be third and 12, Bristol. And there's that movement right there. Neven was right. And as you can see, Neven came right on through the hole. And um, he, he tattletales. He tattled. Number 71, he did it. There we go. Third and long, Bristol. Let's go, Let's go defense. Let's go defense. Wide receivers lined up. Out the shotgun, puts his man in motion. He does the play action fake. They hand it to number 21. He's looking for some move on the outside. Once again, he is picked up and out. Out comes the ball. We have a Farnham Knight player there getting up a little bit slow. Looks like we may have a flag on the on the play also. We'll get the official ruling there. Uh, let's see who we can uh, who that player is um, that is downed. That uh, looks to be oh yes. Offside. Yep, yep. Defense. Illegal That's Gilly, shift. Andy Gilly, G offense. Gilly, he's okay, number 23, as he gets offense. up a little bit slow, he's gonna shake that off. He's tough. There we go, we're gonna go on and give him a break and put number 52 in there for the, for the Knights. All right, back to the field. We have third, long 13 for Bristol. Uh, the Farnham Knights are putting the pressure on and kind of shutting down that offensive strategy there. Let's see what the Bristol Aztecs are gonna do about this in this third down situation. Why was he supposed to play right? Strong left for Bristol. Victor Foley, number 15, the high back. Webb takes the can. Play action, he's looking for his man on the, left, on the far left side. Right side, 82, pass is incomplete. Good coverage there by Tom Tane, number 38. That's going to be a fourth down situation there for the Bristol Aztecs as the special teams come back out to the field. Good pressure was put on by the defense for the Farnham Knights. As you can see, Webb had nowhere to go on that one. And that was a pass that was made incomplete. Here was that pressure play action fake there to a Foley. And he looks over to the left side. And as you know, Mr. Webb is a lefty there, giving him that good rollability to that uh, left side. Um, he didn't take advantage of that time, stayed in the pocket. Pass was incomplete. Back to re uh, to receive the punt return. Godfrey 
Punt is out. Clean punt off to the left side. It's going to bounce and take a couple of more rolls. Goffrey's going to let it go. Poison, poison. And that's going to be down there. Great field position that the Bristol Aztecs take a look. Let's take another look at that. That punt looked very shallow, but after a couple of rolls, it started to pull some good results as the Bristol Aztecs down at about the three-yard line for the final nice. Once again, very shallow punt, but you can see he was targeting to the far left side corner, and there it is. Once it hits that first roll, it rolls, it takes another bounce, a good seven yards down there, and there's the special teams, number 53. He's gonna go on and down it, good sense down about the two-yard line, putting the Farnham Knights in their own field position, and it's gonna be first and 10, Knights. Oh, this is a good game today. Callum Brown taking the ball out of the shotgun. Callum does a play action fake. He's going to hand it to Godfrey. Godfrey's coming through the first hole off the far left side. He's going to have a good gain of about six yards. Godfrey's going to put the speed off. They're going to put him and use him real quick early in the game. Godfrey was running real good last week, so they're going to utilize him today. Godfrey puts the speed on, comes through the guard, and gets a good gain of about uh, five, six yards. Let's take another look at that hole made by the offensive line. Great pull. Great. Look at him. Squeeze right through that hole. Starts pumping those legs, and he has a good game there. That's going to be second and six for the Knights. Godfrey in the backfield. It's a qual on far left side. Lateral toss to Godfrey. Godfrey's looking for some room, and oh, he's finally swooped up there by the defense. Short gain of any there for uh, Godfrey. Let's take another look at that pressure there. Nice lateral pass there. And you can see Outway does his job. He makes the pull there, but there is that secondary for the Bristol Aztecs as they come through. They break that play up, and that's going to be third down. Third, short eight, Knights. We have a snap. Ball's handed off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room off the left guard. Nowhere to go. Short gain, if any, there for the Knights. And that's going to be the special teams out. And they will be punting the ball, handing the ball back over to the Bristol Aztecs. Let's see if we can take another look at how that hole collapsed there for the uh, Farnham Knights. And there it is, right off the guard. And there is nowhere to go for Sequala. The pressure comes on there by Bristol, and they shut that down. That is a very important play, well executed by the defense there, and that's going to leave uh, Niven to pump there for the Farnham Knights. Fourth down situation. Back to receive is number four for the Aztecs. Very important snap. Nice clean snap. Niven gets the ball up. Very clean, very nice punt, and the special teams are down there very quick. Amberforce putting his hands out, and oh, that's going to be picked up by Aztecs. He's going to pick it up. He's got a good gain of about 15 yards. We got a play on the field. Amberforce saying, listen, I've just been clipped in the back here. Are you going to call something? Then the receiver actually picked the ball up. He makes a good sprint of uh, for about uh, 15 yards on that Going play. to return. Block in the back. Number seven. Ten yards to the flag. First down, Bristol. And there it is. And preferred put his hands up and correct on that one. And he says, hey, if we can say, take another look at that, if we can see downfield, you will see the illegal block that is put on Amplifer number 25. And great punt there by Neven. Neven must have been practicing this week. Great punt. Beautiful. Makes a nice, good downfield dribble. And there it is right there. And the flag comes out. So that's going to bring the ball back to the, about the 26-yard line for the Aztecs. First and 10, Aztecs. We have Webb, number 10, on the quarterback. He's going to hand it off to the running back, and boom, number 28 is going to do a good sprint. He finds the hole open there off the right side guard. Makes a good gain of about five yards before he's finally brought down. That is Sean Vaughn, number 28, running back for the Aztecs. And look at the hole that Sean gets there, and he's finally tripped up there by the defensive uh, back there for the Farnham Knights. Gain of about five yards, second and 10. And there's the snap, play action fake. They're gonna hand it back off to Vaughn. Vaughn's looking for the right side. And here's Vaughn, he's going up the field. And Vaughn may have enough for a first down before he's finally pushed out of bounds. Vaughn for the first down for Bristol. 
Vaughn finds some room off the right side tackle, and he starts going right up that field. After that, it's a simple foot race before the Farnham Knights finally push him out of bounds. Let's take another look. There's that cut. Left side breaks up. Suchi's there, and there's the pressure being put on by Suchi and Niven. Here comes the, the big man, Bellari, as they finally run him out of bounds between uh, number 35 and Freddy. That's kid, number 35. That's going to be second down and 10 as the Aztecs move the chains right on down the field. Webb out the shotgun. Webb hands it to Defoli. Defoli takes the ball. Defoli's fighting to get any kind of yardage, and the Farnham Knights shut that play down. We get a fake uh, snap there. Instead of being snapped there to the quarterback, it goes to 15, the eye back, and he takes the ball. He looks for some room to the hole. Farnham Knights defensive line shut it down. No gain. Second down, 10 Bristol. Look at it uh, once again. Look at the pressure by the defensive line. There's Alexi, he's brought on, on it. There's Freddie. The whole Farnham defensive line is on that one. Nowhere to go. Second and 10, Bristol. Audible call by Webb. Webb's looking in the pocket. Look at Webb, looking for his man. He finds a number 21. Almost good for a first down. That's a Webb to Mahajan combination. Maybe good enough for the first down. Good quick snap there to Webb out the shotgun. He looks to find his man. That is going to be good enough for the first down. Let's take another look at that play. In the pocket. Lefty gets it over to him right in the middle of the field before he uh, is finally brought down. Play well executed. First and 10. Bristol. During the high back, Webb calling the shot, uh, out the shotgun. Strong right for Bristol. There's the snap. Webb in the shotgun, looking to the far left. He's looking for his man again, number 21. He gets a good gain of about five yards. Great screen to number 21. Again to Mahajan, and that's going to be good enough for another five yards. Let's take another look at that quick snap. Very quick snap there. Very quick action there. Gets his ball in and out into the receiver. Good gain of about five yards. Another play well executed. That's going to be second and five. Bristol looks like they can do this all day long. Where about the shotgun? Hands it off to the uh, Foley, number 15. He's looking for a hole off the right side before it's broken up. He may have enough for the first down before he's wrapped up by the defense uh, secondary for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play and see how he came through that hole and how, it, once again, it was broken up, but it was good enough for him to move it right on down. There he is off the right side guard. Good blocking downfield. And there he's enough, just enough that maybe for the first down. Well, let's see where they're going to mark that. Looks like that is going to be short. There's a rolling there from Keith. He's ready to start the time clock. They are going to move the chains down, Matt. It's going to be first and 10, Bristol. Starting to move the ball into Knights Red Zone territory. Webb once again calls clap shotgun out. Uh, clap audible out the shotgun. Number 10, Webb. Hands it off to number 28, and boom, Bellari puts the shakalaka, shakalaka on him. Nowhere to go before Bellari comes right out that secondary and wraps him right on up. The Farnham love truth on it. Let's take a look at the speed of Bellari on that play as he came right on through. Nowhere to go for that one. No one hardly touches him, and number 28, he is just wrapped up. Nowhere to go for Sean Vaughn before Bellari makes his relations with him. That's going to be a loss of about six yards. Second, 14, Bristol. Once again, let's hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. That's hashtag BAFA. We're in for a good one here at Monk Lake Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Second and long. Play action fake. He's going to toss it off to his man, number 12. Incomplete pass. Oh, he was looking fair for Sean Cook. Pass is going to be incomplete as they rolled off to the left side. And that's going to be a third down situation there for Bristol. Let's take another look at the pressure that was put on by the defense. Play action fake there. Look at the man all alone and right in and out the hands of Sean. Sean had nothing but daylight downfield for that one. Looks like he may have been in here in footsteps. That's going to be a third down situation for Bristol. These third down conversions are very important for them as the pressure is being put on by the Farnham Knights.
Strong fight for Bristol. Receivers 85 and 12. Webb in the pocket, looks for his man again. Number 28 passes incomplete. Looking for his man in midfield, number 21 once again. And that pass was intended for Mahajan, and that is going to be incomplete, putting him, giving us a fourth down situation. Let's take a look at once again. The pressure is being put on by the defensive line, and he is not, they are not giving Webb any time to breathe. He has to get that ball out. He's looking for his man, and that a little bit overthrown. Good uh, pass protection there by number 23, Andy Gillard. Fourth down situation, and they are going to be going for it. Webb's coming out the shotgun. Webb is pounding, and there it is. Beautiful punt by Webb. He's targeting upfield, and that ball is going to run through the end zone. That's going to be brought out to the 20-yard line for the Farnham Knights. First and 10, Farnham. Well, we've had a great couple of possessions of the ball as the Farnham Knights and the Aztecs are battling it out here at Monk Lake Stadium. Both of them are trying to establish dominance here. Both of them are trying to use the pass game and the run game. Both of them's defense are quick very fast and they are very, very intuitive knowing how to play the game and how to shut that defensive uh, back down. So let's see a little bit more on the field as we have the second possession for the Farnham Knights. First and 10, they're gonna be taking the ball at the 20 yard line. Godfrey's coming out strong left. Number 15 for the Farnham Knights. He's gonna be on the strong right side. That's Cameron Wilcox. Brown at the shotgun. Toss to Sequala. Sequala finds some room. He does a juke cut. He's still on his feet, and he's trying to scramble for a little bit more room. And we do have a flag on the play. Let's get the official ruling there by Keys. Great run by Sequala for you. He's finally pushed out of bounds. Let's see the official play ruling there by Keith Wickham. Still 335 in the first quarter of play. Block in the back. Offense, 57. 10 yards, kill first down. Okay, <laughs> rubbing the back. That's going to be against uh, DC there. That's going to be uh, 15 yards. Let's take a look there at what happened on that play. Let's keep a look there. There's DC there. Okay, all right. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's where the, that's, that's where the flag came, all right. So that's going to be 15 play. Uh, 15 yards against the Knights. First and long. Pitch to the right side to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room, and he is wrapped up in the backfield by the Bristol Aztecs. Secondary, you give him Sequala no room and nowhere to go on that one. Let's take a look at how the, Brit, I mean, the Bristol Aztecs came through on that defense and broke that play up. Very good speed there. There's a toss there, and look at number 44. No one even touches him, and he is right there in the backfield. And before Sequala knows what to do, he is down on the ground. That's going to be second and about 20 for the Farnham Knights. Once again, we definitely like to hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. That is hashtag BAFA. Be a part of the game. Second and 20. Brown at the shotgun, play action fake. He's looking for his man downfield, and he's looking for Jameson, number 87. That pass is going to be incomplete, thrown short. Good pass protection there in the pocket there for Callum. Good blocking by the O-line on Farnham, and let's take another look at that play. Play action fake, and there he is, nice in the pocket. Sets, takes his time, and there we go. It's just a little bit low for Jameson. Jameson's a tall man. That's going to be third down, a very, very important play there for the Farnham Knights. Third and 20. Let's see what they're going to do on this play. We have Godfrey, Jameson, left side. Brown sitting in the pocket. He's going to toss it over there to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room downfield on the left side. He does a juke, and he breaks a couple of tackles before he's brought down. We do got a flag on the play. Sequala barely makes it back to the line of scrimmage, and let's get the official ruling on the field. Block in the back, offense, 87. The penalty's declined, fourth down. Well, we have another penalty uh, blocking the pack against the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play. 
Let's see if we can catch it. There it is, Jameson. Oh, the block in the back there. That was uh, caught right on camera. That is going to be against 87, Jameson. That is going to be a fourth down situation. Farnham Nice special teams will be taking the field. Back to receive the day for their Bristol Aztecs is number four. Joe Cassidy. Back to punt, number 95, 99 even for the Farnham Knights. Great snap. Very, very high punt there, holds it up. And that's gonna go into Cassidy. Cassidy's looking, he's at the 40. Cassidy's in the midfield. Cassidy's breaking to the right side. Is Cassidy still on his feet before he's finally wrapped up by the Knights? He's gonna have a gain of about 10 yards and we got flags, one more on the field, all over the place. Number 52 for the Knights is saying, hey, there's something going on here. Let's get that official ruling on the play. Let's see if we can take another look at that play, see if we can capture anything on towards on that, uh, that, brought that flag out from Keith. Okay, ever so much, everything looks clean so far. We got a good wrap up. Uh, I don't know if our cameras ever caught it there. We still have a good wrap up. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. 52 on the kicking team. 15 yards to return, first down. Well, that's gonna be against Andrew Welsh on the Farnham Knights. Andrew thought uh, that should have been against Bristol, but that is definitely going to be uh, fair against the Farnham Knights on that one. That's going to give a Bristol great field position. Ball is going to be on the Farnham Knights 25-yard line. Out come the field with the Bristol Aztecs. First and 10. Webb's going to take it out the shotgun. Aztecs strong right. Shot. He's in the pocket, looks for his man number 87, and he finds him a high toss there to number 82, excuse me. Good reception there by the wide right receiver. That's gonna be a good gain of about five yards. Great pass there by Webb to his receiver on the far left, uh, right side. Let's take another look at that. Hangs in the pocket and beautiful plates it right up there. And look at the jump ability of that young man. He can jump high, catches the ball, and that's gonna be a good gain of six yards. Second, long four, Bristol. Sean Vaughn in the backfield. Webb in the shotgun. Webb once again looking downfield. Webb's in the pocket. He's looking for his man. Webb finds his man. Number 82. That's going to be good for a touchdown. Webb to number 82 combination to Otis Newberry. And that is going to be good enough for six points. Let's take another look at that play. Webb just sat right in the pocket there. Looked for downfield. There was his man on the right side. Boom, right into Newberry's hands. And that is going to be good. Look at that. Beautifully set. Fires it right on down the field, and there is Newberry right in his hands on the letters. You couldn't get any better than that. Six points, Bristol. Extra point conversion. Once again, we're playing the NCAA, uh, NCAA uh, college rules, so he's going to be go doing a conversion for uh, two points on this one. Rather than a field goal attempt for one. Out the shotgun. Hands it off to the receiver, number 28, and boom, there he is, the big man, Sean Vaughn, walks it on in. That's going to be good enough for two-point conversion on there. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update today in Farnham, Surrey, Monk Lake Stadium, Farnham Knights, a zero, Bristol Aztecs, A, as we are 2-0, and 06 in the first quarter of play. What a game today. Once again, we want to hear from you, hashtag BAFA, that is hashtag BAFA, and we'd like to thank you for watching today's show. Today's show is brought to you by a DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Made Production. We like to always say thank you ever so much. These guys are always come here early, set up a great uh, set system for me. I got a higher booth today. We put the cameraman another 20 feet up there. Guys, you all right? Well, that's what we like to hear from the production team. So we like, once again, we'd like to thank uh, Cheers, mate. And once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. And once again, if you are very interested in knowing a lot more information about the league, about the referees, see them at www.bafra.info. That is www.bafra.info. And we'd like to see you look up the Knights here. You can find them on the, uh, www.farmknights.com. You can find them on Facebook also. And the Aztecs are going to be kicking the ball off. They're off to kick it off today is number Number nine for the Bristol Aztecs. Back to receive is a Godfrey and Wilcox. 
Nice kick. It looks like it's going to go right into Wilcox. And he's looking to the right side. And there's a the speedy man. Oh, he's got a gain of about four yards. A special team. Looks like we had a fumble on the ball. And we got a scramble still on the field. And we got flags all over the place. Oh, it is on here at Monk Lake Stadium. There it comes the coaches, everybody. Let's see exactly what happened on that one before they kind of break it up. That was some good excitement already happening here. Testosterone. They're feeling the energy out there on that field. Let's take another look um, and see if we can see exactly what happened. What caused the scuffle? Okay, we get a good kick there. All right, Wilcox takes it, and there we are. We have the block in there. All right, he is wrapped up. And there, it looks like he still has the ball. And then, here we go, we have it falling out. And there's where it all kicks off. So let's take the official ruling. Looks like we have some courtroom drama had it happening on the field today. We're going to take that time to also uh, thank some of our other watchers and to say, please see us. Hashtag, dot, uh, hashtag BAFA. That is hashtag BAFA. Also, look up your local team. Be a part of it. I know that you're watching the game. You're saying, I can do this. I bet you can. So look up your, your local team. You can see them on the BAFA. That is BAFA. We are a part of the British American Football Association's National League Premiership. Look us up. Be a part Outside of the game. By the kicking team. Five yards will be ended the end of the return. We have a personal foul, number 35, dead ball, trying to headbutt a player. He has disqualified himself from the game. We've had unsportsmanlike conduct against every player on the Farnham team. We have an unsportsmanlike conduct on every player on the Bristol team. That is their first unsportsmanlike conduct. A second one will result in an injection. Okay, that was in sportsmanlike conduct against every player on Farnham. In sportsmanlike conduct on every player against Bristol. We had a headbutt. That player has been ejected. We have a personal foul also. So I'm very still interested on where they are going to mark the ball. But um, how do you eject all of the players on both sides? Stay tuned. We'll have more to bring you that answer a little bit later. I'm going to look it up and see if that really can happen. And let's look at some of that action there on the field. Uh, that was juicy. I'm sorry. That was juicy. I'm glad everybody's okay. But that kind of rammed it up. I understand that we are going to have more action to come on the field. I can guarantee it. Watch how they take the action back on the field, and they're going to mark the ball on the pitch. That ball's going to be at the midfield position. First and 10, Farnham Knights. All right, as Keith is explaining the whole situation to the refs out there. That was a vessel very, these referees are very, very good. And to be a referee here, you do have to uh, go through an extensive course. You have to go through qualifications. Once again, you can find out more about how you can also be a part of their associations at www.bafra.info. That is a bafra.info. Back to the field, first and 10, Farnham Knights, midfield position. Well, I can see one of the key players for the Farnham Knights. E-Man is on the bench today. Looks like he may be injured. He's not suited up. Farnham Knights have a wide roster of defensive players to pull from. I see Alexi there. He's feeling good. Valari's feeling good. Tass feeling good. Roddy's feeling good. <laughs> And let's play some ball. First to 10, Knights. Brown at the shotgun. Knights 
Sequalov. Sequalov's hitting low. Nowhere to go by number 52 for the Bristol Aztecs. And as he fights to get back to the line of scrimmage, that's going to be no or any gain there on the play. Let's take another look at that play. Number 52 for the uh, Bristol Aztecs. He comes flying right on in. No one already touches him. Great tackle. Hits him really low. Nowhere to go on that one. And that is uh, Michael. Number 52 there for the Aztecs on that tackle. Half a yard lost there. Second and long, second. Long 10, Farnham Knights. Game saying Godfrey, strong left. Will Cox on the right. Brown out the shotgun. Brown's looking for Jameson. Jameson, he's got the ball. Jameson's putting his head down. He's scrambling, trying to look for the first down. Jameson, good for about good six yards. Good play there by the Farnham Knights. That is Brown to Jameson combination. They know how to work that combination very well. Let's look at that again. Great execution. Brown gets set up, and there is Jameson. He's got, once again, he's got the icky sticky on his hands. Puts his head down, starts scrambling for more yards. He runs very brave. He never runs out of bounds. He always is running infield and upfield. Great game, great play. Third five. Barnum Knights. Knights come out strong right position. Brown out the shotgun. Sequala in the high back. There's a the snap. Handed off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room on the inside guard. And the Bristol, Na uh, Bristol Aztecs shut that down as he fights to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a fourth down situation for the Barnum Knights. That may be the end of the first the quarter. The first quarter. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of the first quarter of play. Your scoring update today, Farnham Knights a zero, Bristol Aztecs eight. Once again, today's show is brought to you by DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Blaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. We'd like to also thank all of you viewers. And once again, we would like to hear from you. Send us your comments and send us what you are thinking at hashtag BAFRA. Hashtag BAFA. That is hashtag BAFA. We would definitely like to hear from you. Fourth down situation. Ball midfield. Barnum Knights. as they get the chain sorted out on the field. Taj, you know we have been streaming uh, the show for the last four weeks here at Monk Lake Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. We'd like to thank all of our viewers. We've had a great turnout, great support, great comments. We would like to thank all of you. Please continue watching as we'll be bringing you our final show next week here at Monk Lake Stadium. And as you can see, it is just getting warmed up here in Surrey Farnham. Here come the Knights. Looks like the Knights are going to be going for it. Fourth and a long five. Balls in midfield position. I'd go for it too. So as you can see at this time, uh, Keith Wickham is uh, escorting the ejected player from the field. As part of the rules, when you are ejected, you do need to lay uh, the full playing area of the field. And that player it will be escorted by our head referee, uh, Keith Wickham. So once again, th this is football. Uh, we do have rules, we do have regulations. This is not wrestling. Headbutting is a no-no. Headbutting will get you kicked off the field, as you've just seen and demonstrated by our head officials on the field. So uh, Keith will be blowing the whistle, calling the time and the clock to start. And ladies and gentlemen, let's play some ball. Fourth down situation. Monk Lake Stadium, Farnham, Surrey. Here come the Knights. Play action fake to Sequala. Oh, pass was incomplete, intended for 15 Wilcox. Cameron saying he needs a flag on the play. 
and the ref saying that was clean. That's going to hand the ball over to Bristol. Let's take another look at that play and see if Cameron is right on that one. Now, pay attention to the far left side. Cameron is right over there. All alone, a great snap there. Boom, Cameron comes right into the middle there, and boom! I'm sorry, but I kind of think that uh, they, the officials probably should um, come see my instant replay on that one, but who are we to judge? That's going to be first and 10, Bristol. Will Cox is not happy about that one. And listen to them Knights as they get fired up about that. First and 10, Bristol, Webb about the shotgun. Bristol's strong right set, set up position. Sean Vaughn, number 28 in the eye back. Handed off to Sean Vaughn. Sean is looking for some room and he scrambles for a gain about a yard before the Knights finally bring him down. Number 27, Freddy uh, and Bellari on that tackle. Second uh, gain of a couple of yards. Now look at that play, the defensive line. They break up his first hole, and as he reaches and look for a space on the right guard, the nice defensive line and the secondary are there to uh, meet and greet him and nowhere to go for the running black, Sean Vaughn. That's gonna be a long um, eight yards, a second and eight, Bristol. Way about the shotgun, which is man in motion. Play action fake to the man in motion. He's looking for 82 off the right side. He finds the reception. That's going to be good enough, but a loss of yardage as he gets the completion behind the line of scrimmage. Let's take another look at that play. That happened really fast. Good defensive work by the Farnham Knights on that left side. That is number 35, Mr. Kidd. Let's take another look. Puts number 21 in motion, and there is the play action fake. He's looking for his man right there, and he catches it, but look how as he steps back, he loses yardage, and he is wrapped up by Mr. Kidd. Loss of yardage, that's gonna be a third and 12. Bristol Aztecs. What about the shotgun? Ball in the eye back. Strong left for Bristol. They hand it off as a play action fake. He looks for his man number outfield. Ball almost intercepted by Tom Payne, number 38 for the Knights. I was intended for number 12 for the Bristol Aztecs. That ball, uh, Sean Cook. That pass is going to be incomplete. Let's see if we can take another look at that. Oh, we have a quick snap. Uh, let's keep the action onto the field. We got a quick snap happening here by Bristol. They're getting loud here at Monk Lane Stadium, and it's a punt that powders up. Great punt, but that's gonna roll into the end zone before the Bristol Aztecs have any time to down it. That ball's gonna come out to the Farnham Knights. They're gonna be taking the ball as they stop the Bristol Aztecs drive here at Monk Lane Stadium, Farnham, Surrey. Let's take another look at that play. There it is all down there, and right in the numbers of Tom Taman out, broken up also there by Sean Cook, number 12. And that pass is going to be in, um, almost intercepted, but not. Knights will be taking the ball on their own 21st and 10 Farnham Knights. And here come the Knights. They are fired up. I don't know if you can hear, but I can hear and feel the ground shaking beneath me as they are starting to bomb on, um, bang on the benches here. First and 10. Brown out the shotgun. Brown, play action. Brown's looking up to Godfrey. He finds Godfrey. Godfrey up the left side of the middle. Brown, Godfrey combination brings the chains up. Let's take another look at that play. Godfrey was all by himself. He uses those hands of truth once again, and he makes the reception, and that is gonna bring the chains down. Great play, great pass by Brown. The ball is beautifully right in Godfrey's hands. He takes another step back to make sure he makes that completion. Great hands, great play. Farnham Knight, first and 10. Let's go, Knights. First and 10, Brown at the shotgun. 
Toss to Sequala. Sequala's looking for the right side. He's got blocking. Sequala does a cut. Oh, he is snatched up by number 42 by the Bristol Aztecs. He would look like he had all the way to go, but Charlie puts a hug on him and brings him down. No gain or any as he fights the line of scrimmage. Let's see if we can never look at that play and see how Charlie came right on in there for the Aztecs. Nice lateral there to Sequala. Sequala is looking for that room, and there is Charlie. Look at the speed and the strength as he dives through, wraps up, sure tackle, nowhere to go. Second and 10, Knights. Here come the O-line for the Knights. House, number 67, snapping the ball. Love that guy. Callum, pitch over there to Godfrey. Godfrey does a cut, he's looking to reach with Marley Scrimmage. Godfrey is caught in the backfield. Loss of yardage there. A nice lateral to Godfrey. Godfrey tries to put on the speed, but there is the Aztecs. They catch him in the backfield, and that is going to be a third down situation. Loss of yardage for the Farnham Knights. And there it is. Godfrey is trying to run through, and there is that uh, secondary. That's number 52 for the Bristol Aztecs as he wraps him up. Nowhere to go for that one. That is Michael on that tackle. Third and a, a long 13 there for the Farnham Knights. Ready, Sequala in the backfield. Callum at the shotgun. Godfrey and Wilcox spread wide. Hands off to Sequala. Sequala once again is caught in the backfield by number 42. That is Charlie. Charlie has a relationship with Sequala today. He wants to touch him all day long, and he just touched him again. That's going to be a fourth down situation. Here come the special teams for the Farnamites. Let's look at Charlie as he puts the speed on again. He comes from the other side of the field. And there is Sequala as he looks for that hole. He looks for the dive, and there is he right there making that play. He is a playmaker and a half today. Fourth down situation. Niven, number 99, to put the ball for the Farnham Knights. Back to receive is number four, Joe Cassidy, for the Bristol Aztecs. Nice snap to Niven. Niven, nice putt. He shoots it down, it hits number seven. It hits number seven and he drops the ball, but he's still on his feet as he makes another cut on the field. And now as he makes another cut to the left side of the field. What a run there. Intended receiver didn't catch it. Now, hit the ball number seven, I don't have, uh, that is um, Nathan. Hit Nathan, Nathan made a uh, strong right cut to the field. Outran his blocking, made a second cut to the inside of the field. Good game of about 15 yards on Nate, for Nathan on that one. That's gonna be Bristol's ball. They'll be marking the ball about the 35 uh, yard line, first and 10. Let's take another look at that play. And you see how Nathan dropped it, but the ball came right back into his hands and look at him put on the speed. Nathan refuses to go down as he does a few cuts, breaking tackles left and right before he's finally wrapped up by the Knights. First and 10, Bristol Webb out the shotgun. Webb hands it off to the big man. Big man looking for some room up the middle. He is wrapped up in a loss of yardage by the Farnham Knights. Nowhere to go for the big eye back on that play. A Foley, nowhere to go. As you can see, as the hole gets broken up, a Foley is wrapped up and the big defensive line shuts the play down. That should be a second down, ball mark. That should be second down. What about the shotgun? Strong left for Bristol. There's a snap. He's looking to the right side for his man. He finds him. Number 82. Webb to 82 again. Great pass there to Otis Newberry with those quick hands and that quick jumping ability. That's going to move the, uh, the ball down. That's going to be uh, just short, about three yards. Just about a five-yard gain there. That's going to be short of the first down. Look at that combination again by the lefty. Boom, he finds Newberry. Newberry is right there. He knows exactly where the ball's going to be, and he takes it right on upfield. That's going to be third down, third and three. Bristol. Bristol lined up strong on the left side. Webb once again out the shotgun position. O'Foley on the high back. Hands it off to O'Foley. O'Foley's off the left side guard, and O'Foley is wrapped up by the men in blue. Nowhere to go, and he is shut down on that play. That's going to be a fourth down situation for the Bristol Aztecs. Uh, Foley had nowhere to go on that play before the Farnham Knights shut him down. Let's take another look at that play. 
Uh, apologies there. We don't have the uh, replay on that caption. But once again, hashtag BAFA. That is where you need to be. Come be a part of the game. Fourth down situation. Back to receive is number 89, Godfrey. Webb to punt. Webb puts it on up. It's going to be short. They're going to let it go on and bounce, and I can hear they're calling poison, poison, letting that ball be uh, down there by the Bristol Aztec. That ball's going to be down about the 12-yard line. Take that back. That's the 17-yard line. And here come the Farnham Nices. They stop the drive of the Bristol Aztecs again. Your scoring update today here in Farnham is a Farnham Nice, a zero Bristol to Aztecs, eight. We got a, um, a little bit of a Mr. Mason. Thank you. Uh, keep up the good work promoting British American football. Thank you ever so much. We do like to hear from you. We do love British American football. Once again, you want to know about more about British American football, www.bafa.com. That is BAFA, British American Football Association National League. Premier South is where we are here at Monk Lake Stadium in Surrey. And here come the Farnham Knights as they're running to put the drive and getting some points up. We are 8.08 in the second quarter of play. Callum, shotgun. Callum's ace in the pocket. Callum's looking for Godfrey. Pass is incomplete, thrown wide. Good pass protection there, Callum Brown. Callum is looking on very calm today. He is getting the pass protection by the O-line. He's been able to set up, take his time, look downfield, and see if he can make that completion to his men. Um, very good work there by the O-line, by the Farnham Knights. We got another um, hit here. Thank you very much, Jonathan Griffiths. Um, great coverage, as always. Uh, and brilliant production and commentary. Well, thank you ever so much, Jonathan. We thank you ever so much. We are really having a good time here, and these guys here at Cheers Mate are awesome. These guys work very hard. Please see them. Cheers Mate. Jameson, the hand, the ball is to Jameson, and the big man takes the ball upfield. Maybe good enough for a first down. That's a Callan. Uh, that's a Brown-Jameson combination to the right side again. Let's take another look at that play. Alan Brown is looking good today. Takes his time, lines up in the pocket, and boom, there's his man with the icky, icky, sticky on his hands, and boom, he hands his head down. Always running the ball very strongly, Mr. Jameson. That's going to be third in a very short two for the Farnham Knights. Knights on the strong left side. Wilcox to the right. Godfrey and Jameson to the left. Shotgun to call on the IDAC. Oh, we got a flag there. Let's get that official ruling. Looks like we may have some motion. Everybody's doing the finger pointing. Let's get the official ruling by Keith Wickham. Offside, number 53. Entering the neutral zone and causing the defense, the offense to react. Five yards and that'll be enough for a first down. That's gonna be against Reese. And that's gonna move the chains down. Well, Reese just gave the Knights a first down. He's not gonna be too happy about that. And the clock is running. Knights trying to get off quick snap. The ball, the uh, clock is running. Hand it off to Kuala to the left, right side. Sequala looking for some more room. Sequala fighting to the line of scrimmage before he is wrapped up by number three for the Bristol Aztecs. That's going to be a short gain of no gain. Let's look at that play again as they try to hand it off. Sequala is trying to find that hole open up, and there it is, but not tight enough and not enough room for Sequala to tiptoe through. We know he can squeeze through the most tiniest of holes and make a positive gain of yardage, but the Bristol Aztecs are shutting that down today, second and long. Second and long eight on the Knights. Aztecs in the nickel. Looking for Jameson, high! The ball is thrown high, incomplete to Jameson. The Brown-Jameson combination was incomplete on that, on that uh, reception to the left side. Ball was thrown high, that's gonna be incomplete. That's gonna be a third down situation as we have a timeout called on the play by the Farnham Knights. We'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors. Today's show is brought to you by DNA Brickworks. At 615, 615 in the second quarter, first timeout, Farnham. 
And as they bring some more of that high quality H2 on the floor, on the field, once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, DNA Brickwork, Kango Security, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Productions. We would also like to thank our referees, and once again, we would always like to thank you for watching the show and making it all so exciting. Keep sending us your feed as we bring you your scoring update here at the Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights at zero, Bristol Aztecs eight, as we are in the second quarter of play, and I told you this was gonna be an exciting game this week. These guys are ready to play. They both have something to prove. They want to still wrap up on that league. London has been trying to put the domination on these outskirt teams, and they are showing them that we are here to play this British American football, and here they are from Bristol as they try to put the pressure on the Farnham Knights. Third down situation, Knights. Snaps had to Sequala. Sequala's looking for the far left side. Sequala turns on the speed, and there is Aaron Sequala trying to run for the first down before he's finally pushed out of bounds. He may have a little bit more. He might have a little bit less. Let's get the official ruling. Great run by Aaron Sequala. I'll uh, tell you, when he goes into third gear, he is going upfield, and that is going to be a good gain of about five yards. Fourth down situation. Well, let's see what the Knights are going to do on that one. Look at Aaron as he breaks the tackle, and he runs away from him. There he is. He just went into third gear, and boom, he's breaking more tackles before he's finally pushed out of bounds. Sequala on the carry. Fourth down situation. Looks like the Knights may be going for it. Let's take a look on the field. And the Knights are going to be going for it. Very important play. Ready, spread, ride, number 27 to the right side. Dameron far left. Tosses to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room. Sequala's being shut down by the Aztecs as they come through. That is going to be a loss of oh, a loss of yards. And we have a flag on the play. It looks like we may have some uh, personal foul. That is going to be against Bristol, if so. And that is definitely going to hurt as they did shut the Knights down on that play. Let's take an uh, action to the field. Let's go back to standard. Oh, I can't get We have the courtroom uh, referee drama there. And Keith is going to give us the ruling. Here it is. After play was over, personal foul by number four, Orange. The ball will be given to Bristol 15 yards from where we are. First down. So that ball is still going to be um, given to Bristol. They will still have possession of the ball, but they will mark the ball 15 yards back. Let's take another look at that play there, okay? There's the lateral toss to Sequala. The pressure by Bristol is on. They stop the outside left hole. Sequala tries to come back into the middle and they stop him on that hole too. He has nowhere to go and that is definitely gonna turn the ball back over to the Bristol Aztecs on that one. Once again, that ball will be pushed back for uh, 15 yards. That penalty was against uh, Joe Cassidy against the Bristol Aztecs. That's gonna be first and 10. Bristol as they take the ball, midfield position. I see Vinny number 21 in there for the Knights. Looks like we may have a timeout on the field. Pete Too Tall calls uh, the refs on over. So once again, if you want to be a part of this, you see the action www.bafa.com. Be part of this. Look up your local team. Go down and see them. If you're in our area, come down and see us. We would like to see more of you young men and women out there on the field taking part in this great sport here. Remember, hashtag BAFA. Don't be about it. Join the conversation. All right, now they'll be blowing the whistle. First and 10, midfield position for the Bristol Aztecs. 
Webb, number 10, still on the ham. Number 28, uh, Sean Bond on the eye back. 82, Otis Newberry on the left side. Snap, back to fakes, looks for Newberry. He has Newberry on the left side. Newberry is finally pushed out of bounds by Ampleford, number 25. Gain of about uh, four yards. Great uh, snap, quick action there from Webb to uh, Newberry, number 82. Them two are working very fast on the screen plays. He is getting the ball out to him very quick. That young man is very fast and he turns it up the field, always for a positive gain. Here it is again. Boom, Newberry. Newberry takes a step, sets, and look at the speed on Newberry. He only needs about four or five yards each carry, and he can still move the chains all day long. Second, long three, Aztecs. Hands it off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn looks for the right side of the hole. He blasts through. Looks like he may have enough for a first down. Let's see where they mark his knee on that second down play. The big man, number 28, Sean Vaughn on the carry. And he is going to be short of the first down. And as you can see, yep, there's his knee. He was short of the first down. Third down uh, situation here for Bristol. A very important play. Third and short. Short three. Where about the shotgun? Hands it off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn's got the first. Sean Vaughn's going for more. And he's finally brought down. Just great. Good yardage for enough for the first down before he's finally brought down by uh, Mr. Kidd, number 35. He finds an open hole off the right side, goes right on through it, and that's going to bring the chains right on down for Bristol. There is that hole, and that big man can run. Sean Vaughn puts on the speed, keeps his, uh, his balance down low, blasts through, breaks a couple of tackles. Enough for the first down, first and 10. Bristol Aztecs. Bristol lined up, strong left. Flat body ball called there by Webb. Coming off the shotgun. Hands the ball off to Sean Vaughn and Gilly. Number 23 catches him in the backfield. Nowhere to go. That's going to be a loss of yardage there. Andy Gilly comes out the secondary there for the Knights. Wraps up Sean Vaughn. Nowhere to go on that play. That's going to be a loss of yardage of any. And that's going to be a second down. Great speed there by Andy Gilly. That's Gillard. <laughs> I know him and, uh, very well. That's my guy. That's going to be second and 12. For Bristol. Bristol comes out. Strong left. Victor O'Foley in the backfield. A snap, play action fake to Foley, and Webb's gonna keep it. Webb's scrambling, Webb's breaking tackles, and Webb's finally brought down as he tries to fight to get the line of scrimmage, and we do got a flag on the play. Let's get the official ruling on that one. Webb, he does the quarterback sneak. He tries to fight his way out the backfield. He scrambles and breaks a couple of tackles before he's finally brought down by the Knights. The ball did not leave the tackle zone, therefore the block in the back was legal. There is no flag on the play. Okay, so we have no flag on the play. This is why we have more than one ref on the field. We also have ump, we have some line judges, back judges. But this is why we have more than one individual out there calling it and, and they have a nice discussion, come out with the official ruling. That's gonna be third, long 12 there for the Bristol Aztecs. Oh, Foley in the back, in the eye back there for the Bristol. Webb taking out the shotgun. Aztec strong right. Snap. Webb staying in the pocket. Webb's looking downfield. Webb's looking for his man. Overthrown. That ball's going to be out of bounds. That was intended for number 82. Otis Newberry passes incomplete. That's going to be a fourth down situation for the Bristol Aztecs. Let's look at that again. He had all the time there to, to uh, get that pass off. He sets very well. Great arm from the lefty as he looks downfield. A little bit overthrown. Way overthrown. That is going to be an uh, incomplete pass. Fourth down situation as the special teams come out and to the field. We have Godfrey to receive for the Farnham Knights. <laughs> Number 
number four, Joe Cassidy, will be punting for the Aztecs. There's the snap. Oh, we got the whistle blown there. We'll get that official ruling. Looks like okay. they made it run out of time. Game against the offense. And that is going to be a delay of gain against the offense. That will be pushing the ball back. It will be planting uh, another five yards back on that play. 340 still on the second quarter of play here at Monk Lake Stadium, Farnham Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Delay of game, offense, number four, five yards, still fourth down. All right, let's play some ball here as Keith blows the whistle back in. Snap to Cassidy, Cassidy, high punt. He's gonna lay it way up there. Godfrey's gonna let it just drop and boom, it goes into. Mr. Kidd picks that one up. He's gonna down it for the Farnham Knights. That ball's gonna be marked about on the 14, 15 yard line, 14 yard line, first and 10, Farnham Knights. Hashtag B-A-F-A. We want to hear from you. Be about it. Get involved. Great punt. Great high punt there by Cassie. And you can see as the special teams go on to lay it down. But look how that ball takes that bounce and goes right into kids' hands. Great intuition. I would have grabbed that myself. And just goes and downs it. And that's going to be a good first and 10. Barnum Knights. Godfrey, Jameson, far left. Cameron Wilcox on the right. Sequal on the eye back. Brown at the shotgun. Brown sitting in the pocket. He's looking upfield. He's looking for Godfrey. He's looking for Godfrey. It's Stephen Godfrey. Stephen Godfrey takes it. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. It's a foot race. He's at the 10. Before he's finally pushed out of bounds. Doug Brown, Godfrey combination. Down the field, good gain, 64 yards by Stephen Godfrey on the reception. That's gonna be a first down for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that high pass there as he put it way up. Great reception there. Let's look at the pass block. Brown, all the time in the world. Beautifully finds Godfrey, the speed of Stephen as he outbeats his man, uh, Mr. Cassidy. And then it's a foot race as Mr. Godfrey runs to find the end zone. He's going to take the ball down to about the 12-yard line, first and 10, as the Knights push into Bristol Aztecs red zone. About 2.17. About two oh, oh, take a minute and 54. Second quarter of play. He's looking for his man again, and he finds him, Godfrey! It's the Brown-Godfrey combination. We got a flag on the field, but it was after the play. Let's get the official ruling on that one. Ineligible man downfield, number 66 on the offense. Five yards, still first down. Outweigh a, a legal man downfield. Outweigh it's a line man, he's not a receiver. Let's take another look at that play. And ah, oh, there he is, five yards out. Boom, that is a man downfield, legal man downfield, and that is going to be a second, 15 Farnham Knights. High snap, play action fake. He's looking for his man on the left side. Uh, uh, Godfrey, the pressure was being put on there by number six by the Bristol Aztecs. That's going to be an incomplete pass there. Good pressure by the Bristol Aztecs just when it counted. That's going to be a third down situation. Let's look again at how number six came right on through that line. They'll put the pressure on, and that was very good for Mr. Brown to go on and get the ball out. That's incomplete, intended for Godfrey. That's going to be third, 15, Farnham Knights. Knights just out of the red zone for the Bristol as they come out. Godfrey's going to be on the far left. Cameron far right, Jameson on the far tight end. Sequala on the backfield. Nice snap, play action fake to Sequala. He's looking for Jameson, and the ball is knocked down there by number 53. Great play by the defense. That is Mr. Reese, Gareth Reese by the defense 
for the Bristol Aztecs. Let's look at that play again. Great use of his hands as he sees the ball come up and a great play as he keeps it from being uh, landing into the hands of number 87, Jameson. That's gonna be a second down situation here. That's wrong, there we go. That's more like it. Third, 15, Knights. Bristol Aztecs are holding the Knights hard while they have the pressure in their own red zone. Callum out the shotgun. Callum play action fake. He's looking for his man again, and the ball is almost intercepted. Intended for Jameson, and almost into the hands of number seven for the Bristol Aztecs. Pass is going to be incomplete. Bristol almost had their hands on that, and you can see the pressure of the ball is right in the middle, and there he is. He reaches right on up and almost takes it there from Reese. That is gonna be a fourth down situation. Number 99, Niven is coming out for a field goal attempt for the Farnham Knights. Nice and looking to put some ports on the board. Current scoring update. Knights zero, Bristol eight. Few seconds still left. Low snap. Niven puts it up. Is it? Is it? Is it? And it's good! Niven puts three points on the board for the Farnham Knights. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here in Farnham Rugby Stadium. Farnham Knights at three, Bristol Aztecs eight. One minute, 14 seconds, second quarter of play. I told you it was gonna be a good game. If you still, <laughs> sorry about that. See, I got excited. So if you're at home, get something cold or put the kettle on, get your favorite snack, turn the stereo up, get a little bit closer to the TV and Get yourself ready, because it is really going to be a good one as we're about to wind down to halftime, and I can guarantee the third quarter is going to be just as exciting as the first and second quarter of play here in Farnham Rugby Stadium. What a field goal. Niven has been doing some great cut, punting um, and kicking today. So uh, I can see that he must have been doing some, uh, some work over the last weeks because a drastic improvement by the special teams for the Farnham Knights this week. Niven to kick it off. Back to receive is number four, Cassidy. Shallow kick, takes a bounce. Lands in the hands of Bristol, and he is wrapped up by 25 Ampleford for the Farnham Knights. Great play by the special teams of the Farnham Knights on that one. Leaving the Bristol Aztecs nowhere to return the ball on that one. Short return of any. Great play by the special teams of the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that punt as it lands just behind the front line and takes a very bad bounce in and out the hands of, their intent of the uh, receiver. And there he is. The special teams are down there, wrapped up by Tom Tame and by Ampleford, nowhere to go. That's gonna be first and 10. They're gonna take that ball on their own 30 yard line as we are still a minute and 30 seconds in the first quarter of play. First and 10, Bristol. They're still lined up, strong left. Webb out the shotgun. Webb hands it off to Sean Vaughn. Sean does a cut to the right. Sean's looking up the field. Sean's breaking tackles. It's Sean Vaughn. He's going to the right side. Sean Vaughn still on his feet as he makes the ball down to the 30. What a run by Sean Vaughn for the Bristol Aztecs as he breaks through the line and he still carries the ball right on down the field. Let's take another look at that play. Sean Vaughn from Bristol. He breaks through and stays right on his feet. Great running. At one minute 20, 120, first time out, Bristol. There it is. He comes from the backfield. The line is all broken up. This is all Sean Vaughn by himself as he ducks and dodges between the defensive linemen and secondary for the Farnham Knights and he breaks down before he's finally brought down by Mr. Vinny, 21 for the Farnham Knights. What a play. That's going to be first and 10 as they move the chains on down into night territory. Victor Foley in the backfield with Sean with Mr. Webb. Webb, play action, he's gonna pass the ball up the middle. 
Boom, he finds his man right up the middle. Almost good enough for a first down. Before he's finally wrapped up there by Bellari, number 85. That was intended into the hands of Sean Cook, number 12, for Bristol. May just be uh, good enough for a first down. Let's get the official bar marking. And that's it. it's going to be uh, short of the first down. Second, long one. Bristol, a Foley in the back. They hand it to Fo Foley. A Foley's off the right side. A Foley's looking for some room. A Foley's hit low. A Foley may have enough for the first down. He tries to scrimmage up there to get it. Great tackling there by the Farnham Knights. All right, let's see where they mark the ball. They hand it off to a Foley. A Foley has a nice hole to the right side, tries to step on through. Looks like he may have enough of the first down. Keith says, uh, let's move the chains right on down. Okay, and they are moving the chains down. The chain gang, let's move it down. All right, first and 10, and they are officially in the Farnham Knights red zone. Way about the shotgun, a Foley eye back. Strong left for the Bristol Aztecs. The snap. Webb's looking for his man down the front. He's looking for 82. The ball is in the man's hands. That is in the man's hands. Number 82, Otis Newberry jumps up and makes the reception. That's going to be six points as they started to wind down the second quarter of play. Webb-Newberry combination is going to be good. Let's take another look at that play. As you can see, Webb sits right in the pocket, sets very nicely, takes a step back and goes right up. And as you can see, we know he can jump. Ball goes right in his hands. He beats the receiver, and that is going to be good for six. Extra point conversion there for Bristol. Then it looks like they're going to go for the two-point conversion again. Snap, play action fake. He's going. He's looking up the man again. In and out, in and out, and it's in! It is in the man that is Sean Cook as he picks the two-point conversion. That ball just kind of bobbled, and Sean Cook kept his hands onto it, and that is going to be good for the two-point conversion. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update today, Farnham Knights, a three. We're taking another look at that instant replay. Look at in and out and in and to the hands. Well, good hands, good focus there by Sean Cook. Look at the celebration there as the Aztecs did put the pressure on and were able to make another eight points as they started to wind down into the second quarter of play. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Farnham Knights, three. Bristol Aztecs, 16. We are seconds away from the halftime. Once again, we would like to thank our sponsors, DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Glass, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. Cameron and Godfrey to kick it off, to receive. Short kick. That's going to jump by Godfrey. Godfrey is going to pick it up, and he's going to look for a hole to the right side, and Godfrey's going to be wrapped up by the Bristol Aztecs, pushed out of bounds. Short, uh, short return for the Farnham Knights. Godfrey is getting up a little bit slow. He's brought, help, being helped there by his colleague, Cameron Wilcox, number 15. He's going to be up on his feet. The Farnham Knights will be taking the ball on their own 21-yard line. First and 10, Farnham Knights. Once again, for the rules and regulations of the BAFANL Premiership Shelf, please see uh, the BAFA website. Uh, that's www.bafra.info. That is bafra.info. Back to the action in the field. First and 10, final seconds clicking down. Callum Brown in the shotgun. Callum looking up field. Callum's looking for Wilcox. Callum's looking for Wilcox. And the pass is incomplete. 
Wilcox almost had the reception, stumbles back, turns around and meets the ball, and he's gonna fall, and that's gonna be an incomplete pass. Very good pass protection there by Bristol Aztecs. Second and 10. Just a few seconds. It looks like we may have time for one more play by Callum Brown. Let's see if he can get the ball snapped. The snap. Brown's going to sit in the shotgun. Brown's looking for Godfrey upfield. Brown intercepted. He throws it into Mr. Uh, Joe Cassidy's hands. Joe Cassidy makes the interception for the Bristol Aztecs with the final seconds on the clock. The Bristol Aztecs are going to have an opportunity to put more points on the board. This can definitely be disheartening for the Farnham Knights as they were so close to the red zone, so close to putting another six. Another turnover brings the ball back. Bristol runs it through, gets another six, eight points on the board, and now we are at about 19 seconds into the second quarter of play before we're at halftime. The ball is first and 10, Aztecs midfield position. Well, out the shotgun, Aztecs are strong left to strong right, and I can tell you number 82 is on the left. Let's keep our eyes on him. Webb, shotgun. The blitz is on. Webb. Looks for his man of the field, and it's almost intercepted in and out the hands of Mr. Kidd. That's the second in and out the hands to Mr. Kidd today. He has a letter coming today for sure. Let's take another look at that play. Mr. Webb did have time to set. He threw it upfield. He was looking for his man, a little bit overthrown, and look how it goes right into Kidd's hands. Boom, and incomplete. Second and 10, midfield position, and they are getting rowdy here in Farnham. The pressure is on again, he's looking, and there it is, Newberry on the right side to Vinny. Vinny straps him up on a short game before Vinny, number 21 for the Farnham Knights, ceases that tackle and that yardage. Great tackle, that's gonna be a gain of about two yards. We do have a flag on the play. Oh, they're getting rowdy here. You can feel the energy building up on the field today. Between these two teams, both of them are hungry. Both of them want the win. This is a long two minutes. This is like one of those East Ender two minutes. You just go on forever. Keith Wickham will give us the official ruling. Holding, 21 offense, 10 yards, repeat second down. A timeout with 10 seconds has been called by Bristol. That's their second timeout. Maharjan, that's going to be called against him. That'll be pushing the ball back five yards. They will be repeating second down. That's going to be second and 15. Once again, hashtag BAFA. Get involved. All right, the head ref blows the whistle back in. Let's get some action on the field here. Webb taking it out the shotgun. Strong left, strong right for the Bristol Aztecs. Looks like they're going way downfield. Play action, they're gonna hand it to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn's looking for some room on the right side. He's gonna try to get out of Bellari's hands and Bellari says nowhere to go, keeps a good grip, runs him out of bounds and that is going to be uh, the end of the quarter. This is the end of the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the first half of play here. Your scoring update, Farnham Knights, 
three. Bristol Aztecs, 16. We would like to thank you ever so much for watching. Please get you something cold, get yourself comfortable. Send that tweet out to your best friend. Send the link out to your best friend, and we would like to hear it from you. Hashtag BAFA. Once again, we would like to thank our sponsors for this halftime show. DNA Brickwork, Pango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. Until then, we will see you right after this halftime show. My name is Maz Hilbert. I'm your commentary. We will see you in 10 to 15. Andre.
I was not going to turn up though. <laughs>
Ready, go! Oh, the vibes is good.
to the second half of gameplay here in Farnham Rugby Stadium, Farnham, Surrey. Oh, this has been a great game. Your scoring update here. Farnham Knights 3, Bristol Aztec 16, and it has not been an easy 16 as the Farnham Knights are scrapping hard and rumbling hard at Monk Lane Stadium here. And it's an onside kick for Bristol, and that is going to go out of bounds. I will pull a flag there. Don't know if that cleared 10 yards, so an onside kick must clear, be, uh, clear 10 yards. Clears 10 yards, that ball can be uh, live. Free kick out of bounds by the kicking team. Five yards to where the ball went out of bounds. First down, Farnham. Well, that's going to get Farnham great field position as uh, Callum Brown does the Farnham Knight offense onto the field. And let's see what they can do in midfield position in the second half of gameplay here today. Once again, we would like to thank you for watching. Today's game is brought to you by DNA Brickworks, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects, Drew Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. As always, I like to say, Cheers Mate. And here come the Knights, lined up strong right. Sequala on part of the strong right team. High snap. Handed off to Godfrey. Godfrey's looking for the left side. Godfrey, a good gain of four yards as he puts the speed on and breaks through. A lovely hole was opened up there between the guard and the left side tackle, allowing Godfrey to snoop right on in. Once again, this game is nothing about inches, and all he needs is a few feet to make that a positive gain, and there he is. Good gain of three. That's going to be a second long seven. Knights. Once again, we would like to always hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. Get involved. High snap. He's looking for Sequala. Oh, ball is overthrown. Sequala was open on the right side screen from Brown, and that pass is going to be incomplete. That's going to be third long seven there for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look and see if we had any pressure being put on to Callum Brown on that uh, pass and completion. I'll be at all the time in the world, and that's just a bad pass there by Callum. That's going to be incomplete. Third, long seven, Knights. Round right out of the shotgun once again. He's looking for Sequala. He finds Sequala. Sequala's upfield. It's Sequala. Sequala's tiptoeing. Looks like he may be ran out of field, but that's going to be good enough for a first down. Aaron Sequala on the good guard. Uh, gain of yardage on the screen pass on the right side. Let's take another look at how he was able to uh, make that gain. Callum deep in the shotgun position. A quick turn over to the right. There's Sequala. And as he beats his man, number 52, it's a foot race. And once again, when Sequala gets to turning on the engines, you can't stop him. First and 10, Barnum Knight. Ball on the 22. Play action fake. He's looking downfield to Cameron. He's looking downfield to Cameron. And looks like we may have a bump. And that fish is going to say that that is a clear play. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Cameron Wilcox, number 15 on the right side by Mr. Cameron Brown. Cam Callum Brown. Great pass protection. Great pass by Callum. Let's take another look at it. Play action fake to Godfrey. Beautifully set. Downfield. And there it is over the left shoulder. And uh, pass is incomplete. That's going to be second and 10. Farnham Knights. Jameson far left, Sequala far left, Cameron far right, Godfrey in the backfield. Play action fake, he's looking for Cameron again, and the ball is incomplete. Great pass protection there by the defensive line, uh, defensive back for the Bristol Aztecs. Great play, pass is going to be incomplete, third down situation. Let's take another look at that. Play action fake there to Godfrey right down the middle, looking right for his man, and the ball is incomplete. Third down situation here for the Knights. Very important conversion. Callum deep in the shotgun. Hi, 
nice snap over Callum's head. Oh, and he makes another error as Callum tries to pick up the ball. It's picked up by the Bristol Aztecs, number three, and it looks like that's gonna be a turnover. Terrible play, and what an upset, and what a gain for the Bristol Aztecs. Let's take another look at that play as the ball went high over Cameron's head. He had to try to, to down it, and the ball dribbled right through his hands, giving the Aztecs time to get in there. They recover it, and that's gonna be first and 10. Let's take another look. High snap, as you can see, way over his head. And after that, he tries to fight to get the back to the ball. And look at the pressure being put on by Aztecs. Number three number for the Aztecs gets the ball. First and 10, Bristol Aztecs. Very fortunate for them as they force the, for the Farnham Knights to turn over the ball. First and 10, midfield position, Bristol Aztecs. Webb back in the shotgun. Webb, play action fake, he looks for Taylor. He finds his man, number 82, he tries to pull a juke move, nowhere to go. Ampleford wraps his hands around him, that's gonna be no gain of any gain there for number 82, Otis Newberry, on the reception of the play. That's gonna be second down and uh, 10. Oh, and that's man, a loss of yardage, about three yards. Let's take another look at that loss yard. Play action there, he finds Newberry. Newberry tries to do the juke, but you can't do that there to Ampleford. He's a seasoned player, he wraps his hands around him. Loss of two yards. Second and 12, Bristol. Webb takes the snap, he hands it off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn's wrapped up by Freddy as he tries to scramble to the line of uh, scrimmage, a gain of about a yard and a half, if any, before the Farnham Knights are shutting the Bristol Aztecs offense down. Uh, let's take another look at the pressure that they put on there. Sean Vaughn looks for his hole under the dive, and there's the men in blue as they wrap his hands around him between Bellari and Freddie. There is nowhere to go, and he is down. That's going to be third down situation for the Bristol Aztecs. Third, 10. Bristol lined up, strong left. Barnum in the nickel. Sean Vaughn on the high back. Way about the shotgun. And there's the snap. Webb's looking for his man downfield. He's looking for his man downfield. Harris is in the hands of Harris. Number 11 for the Farnham Knights. Harris comes in as he replaces the outside linebacker. And Harris, we know him from many seasons with the Farnham Knights, comes up with the interception. Farnham Knights upset the Bristol, and they're going to turn the ball over. Listen to Harris. He is fired up on the sideline today. On our correction, that's Aaron Hayes. Let's look at that again. Right into Hayes' hands, he makes the leap, boom! Hayes says it's all mine, and he scrambles to down it, giving the Farnham Knights their ball back on the 33-yard line. Apologies, 36-yard line. Aaron Harris on the interception. First and 10, Farnham, Brown, shotgun. Hands it to Godfrey. Godfrey bounces off the right side. He's scrambled up there by the Bristol Aztecs. Going to be a loss of about four yards as the Aztecs scramble through, break through the offensive line, wrap their hands around Godfrey for a negative loss on that one. Second down, 14, Knights. Let's take another look there. All orange through there. The hole collapses. Godfrey has nowhere to go, and he just has good sense to hold onto the ball, take it back down to the ground. Second, long 13, Farnham. Ball's on the 34. Jameson, Sequala, far left. Cameron, far right. Godfrey in the backfield. Snap, play action to Godfrey. Godfrey finds the hole. He bounces off a couple of tackles before he's finally brought down. Gain of about a yard, if any. Play was contained there by the Bristol Aztecs. Nowhere to go for Godfrey. A nice hole was open, but it shut down just as quick as it was open for Godfrey. He tried to force his way through. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a third down situation. Let's take another look at that play. Nice block there by the defensive back. And boom, look at how he bounces off of that one. And before he has any room to gain his footing, he is back, brought back down. Third, long 12, Farnham. There's a snap, play action fake. He's looking for his man downfield. He sees Sequala, it's Sequala, it's Aaron Sequala. Sequala on the reception. Oh, he brings the ball down to about the 14 yard. It's an Aaron 
Zaquala on the reception from Calvin Brown. Let's take a look at that play. Ooh, just saying the name gives me goose chips. It's like Mufasa. Zaquala. Ooh, say it again. Zaquala. Ooh. Look at the pass protection as he sits in the pocket. There's his man down the field. Saquala is like, here I am. I am Mr. Lonely, and he kissed the reception. Great hands, holds on to the ball, and he's finally brought down by the defensive back. Otherwise, that would have been six points for Aaron Saquala. That's going to be first and 10, Farnham Nice, as they line up. Nice snap. Callum, pressure is on. He's looking for his man on the left. Oh, intercepted! Interception by the Bristol Aztecs. Callum Brown. Oh, he's going to hate that pass. He had his man open on the left side. He tried to get his hands into the Godfrey. That pass is picked off, and that's going to turn the ball back over to the Bristol Aztecs. Let's take a look at that play. What an upset. The pressure is put on, but there's his man open. He's overshot. He's underthrown to Wilcox. Intended receiver number 15, Cameron Wilcox. Cameron gets his hands on him and brings the receiver down. That's going to give the ball back to Bristol. First and 10. This game is juicy, juicy, juicy. Once again, you want to be a part of the action, www.bafa.com. Go there. Be involved. First and 10. Bristol Webb out the shotgun. Balls marked on the four yard line for Bristol. The ball snapped, handed off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn's looking through the hole for the first one, and he's finally breaking one tackle before he's brought down. Good gain of about three yards. Sean Vaughn was looking for the hole off the left side between the guard and the tackle. He finally just uh, brought down. Good gain of about four yards. That's going to be second down. Harzen lined up on the far left. Sean Vaughn in the backfield. Webb about the shotgun. Webb hands it off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn to the right side. Sean Vaughn's looking for a four yardage. Sean Vaughn scrambling to get the first down before he's finally wrapped up by the man in blue. Good game of about four yards, but that's going to be short for the first down. It's going to be a third down, third about three for the Bristol Aztecs. Let's take another look at that play as Sean Vaughn tried to scramble for your, more yardage. The secondary for the Farnham Knights is containing Sean Vaughn on the second quarter of play here. Second half of play. Let's take another look at that play. Off to the right side, and there he goes. Bellari pulls himself over, and there is Niven. Wrapping him up between the other defenses and, and uh, number 92. Nowhere to go there. Third and a short one for the Bristol Aztecs. Very important conversion there for the team. The snap, hands it off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn's looking for the first down. Sean Vaughn's breaking. Sean Vaughn's up the field. It's a foot race between him and Bellari, and he's finally pulled down. Good enough for the first down. Sean Vaughn breaks through on the right side, gets the feet under him, puts his head down, and breaks through two tackles. Good gain of about 25 yards for Mr. Sean Vaughn on that carry. Let's take another look at that play. Look at that play. Good hole opens up on the right side, and there it is. And once he sees it, that man turns on the speed. Puts the balance down, and now it's a foot race between him, Bellari, and Appleford, and uh, Mr. Kidd before they finally drag him down. That's going to be enough for a first down. Great uh, third play conversion there for the Bristol Aztecs. First and 10 midfield position. Bristol. <laughs> Snap out the shotgun, hands it to the Foley. Victor DeFoe, and it's a play action fake, and it's the Alva. Hey, Hannah, what a play by Webb. Play action fake to DeFoe, falls back in the pocket, throws it over to uh, Sean Cook, number 12, for the reception. Good gain of about six yards. Let's take another look at that play. What a play action fake there done by, uh, executed by the Bristol Aztecs. There's the snap, there's the play action fake, and as he rolls over to the right, there's his man. Finds it into the hands of number 12, Sean Cook. Sean Cook's going to take it for a good game. That's going to be second down, second, long three, Bristol. Webb out the shotgun, deep in the shotgun, the snap. 
He hands it off to DeFoley. DeFoley's coming to the left side. It's a foot race, and he is snagged up by Aaron Hayes. Aaron Hayes pulls him down for a loss of yardage, and we do got a flag on the play. Let's uh, get the official ruling there by Keith Wickham. In the meantime, let's see if we can find out exactly what happened on that play. Holding offense, number 75, 10 yards, still second down. Well, that is going to be against uh, Bristol, going to bring that ball back. Uh, let's see if we can see that great hands, Aaron Hayes. Aaron's coming here fresh today and doing some plays. Huge plays for the Farnham Knights here. That's going to be a second down, second and 13 for um, the Bristol Aztecs. Right, they're getting rowdy here, and Farnham. Uh, oh, we got some movement there. We got some movement. Let's get the official rolling. And meet. the defense could have drawn the offense. The offense could have drawn the defense encroachment. We'll get the official ruling there by Keith Wickham. Offside, defense number 27, causing the offense to react. Five yards. Still second down. Well, that is going to be against Freddie. That is going to be five yards against Farnham. That's going to be uh, second down. Second long six, Bristol. You can hear the crowd here at Monk Lane, Farnham Rugby Stadium as they're starting to get rowdy. Second down, long six, Bristol Webb out the shotgun. It's a snap, he hands it off to DeFoley. DeFoley's looking to the right side for a little bit of hole. DeFoley's breaking tackles. It's DeFoley still on his feet as he's trying to scramble for the first down. DeFoley, good game for Bristol. Victor Foley on the carry. Let's look at that carry again by Victor. Ball's handed off, Victor finds the hole, but he opens his own, and once he sees a little breathing space, he starts using the balance, and listen, look at the high knees pumping, keeping that force going forward before he's finally drugged down by the men in blue. That's gonna be third down, third and a long one, Bristol. Bristol, they put the man in motion. Play action fake, they hand it off to number 21. He's looking for some room, and the men in blue smother him, a loss of yardage. The Farnham Knights were not having none of that before he's finally wrapped up there by Appleford, number 25, and Gillard, number 23 for the Farnham Knights. Let's look how they broke that play up. Very important play, that's gonna turn the ball. Um, uh, over, look at the speed over there by the Farnham Knights as they chase him through the backfield. He had nowhere to go once he broke through after the man in motion, and that's going to be a fourth down situation. The uh, Bristol Aztecs will be pointing back to receive today is number 89, Stephen Godfrey. Number four, Joe Cassidy to punt. Punt is up, high punt, right into the hands of Godfrey. Godfrey's gonna take it right up the middle. Godfrey's got a bit of room. Godfrey finally wrestled down. Good gain of about five yards. We do have a flag on the play on that one. Let's get the official ruling today. Once again, a lot, a lot of energy out on the field. I can feel it from up here today. What a block that put on Bellari. I don't know if you saw it downfield, but Bellari got a piece of popcorn in his face on that one. Yeah, I mean, he shook it off, he's okay. Drawing the return, blocking the back, receiving team 35, 10 yards, first down. Well, that's going to be against uh, Mr. Kidd on the special teams, blocking the back. They will push that ball back. Uh, let's get the official marker. Oh, that is going to be put about on um, 10-yard line, about the 9-yard, 10-yard line. Farnham Knights will be taking that ball in their own territory, first and 10. Farnham. And as the weather turns a little blistery out here in Farnham, Surrey, I can feel raindrops kind of foaming in through the studio window. I think I better shut it. First and 10. OK, 
Callum out the shotgun. Callum's looking downfield. Callum's looking to the right side of Jamison, and his pass is incomplete. Intended for Jamison. Jamison had to turn around. The ball was coming over to the left shoulder, but no, he had to go to the right shoulder. That ball came a little bit uh, short. Good defensive pass protection there by Bristol, but the pass is going to be incomplete. Second and 10, Farnham. Good pass protection there, as you can see. Brown has a like, nice time to get himself set there to try to make that pass, but unfortunately, a little bit wide. Pass is incomplete. And here come the Knights. Jameson, Goffey, far right. Cameron, far left. There's the snap. Handed off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for the left side. Sequala is tripped up as he tries to fight to the line of scrimmage, and that's going to be a loss of about a yard. Sequala was fighting for the left side. He got tripped up in the backfield. Knee made him uh, land it a couple of yards short. That's going to be a loss of about a yard there. Let's take another look at that play there. There's that low hit, and that does take him down. That ball is going to be marked short of the line of scrimmage. That's going to be third down, third long 11, Farnham Knights. Once again, we would like to hear from you today. Hashtag B-A-F-A. -A. Get involved. Callum out the shotgun. And we got a flag pulled. Looks like we may have one of the players offside. So we'll get the official ruling there by Mr. Keith Wickham. Full start. Offense. 59. Five yards. Third down. Well, that's going to be against baby, baby face Nelson. They will be pulling that back. That'll be five yards. They will, they will repeat the down. So you want to get involved. You want to become one of the referees. You want to know more information. You want to know about the rules and regulations. www.bafra.info. That is www.bafra.info. And if you want to be a player, please, Come to the site, BAFA.com. That's www.BAFA.com. Look us up, British American Football Association National League. We are part of the National the League Premier Shop. Move. The defense sends the neutral zone and calls the offense to react on the other side of the line. It will be an offside, five yards, and still third down. Well, I don't know if you've ever heard a reversal of a judgment call, but that judgment call just got reversed by the line judge, and he says that that was actually against Bristol, so that is gonna be five yards against Bristol, that is gonna be third five Farnham Knights. Brown does a play action fake. He's looking for Godfrey, he's looking for Godfrey upfield, and the pass is gonna be incomplete. Good pass protection by number 14 for Bristol. Incomplete pass, intended for Stephen Godfrey. That's gonna be a fourth down situation for the Farnham Knights as they have the ball is deep in their own territory. Let's see what Pete Tutal and the team are gonna do on this one. And Callum Brown is still gonna be in the huddle, so it looks like the Farnham Knights are going to be going for it on this fourth down situation. Pete must feel very, very confident in his team that they're going to get this five yards. This is a very important down here for the Farnham Knights. Let's just hold our breath and watch on the field as they are. Callum Brown is going to take the snap. He's in the pocket. He's looking for his man. He's got Godfrey. He's got Godfrey downfield. Stephen Godfrey gets the first down. What a reception. Let's take a look at that play as he holds on to the ball and takes two hits there. What a play by the Farnham Knights. Great count, great pass protection there. Callum had all the time to get that ball there to Godfrey. Beautiful pass. Let's take another look. Pass protection, beautiful upfield. And there it is, the double hits on Godfrey. He still holds on to the ball. First and 10, Farnham ball on the 35 yard line. Nice lined up, strong right. Sequala in the backfield, hands off to Sequala. Sequala's on the left side. Sequala's looking for some room. Sequala gets a good gain of about a yard and a half before he's finally brought down low. That's going to be our second down situation. Second and nine. Short nine there for the Farnham Knights.
Now, as you can see on this play, Sequala did have some room in the hole, but that speed by Bristol shuts it down very quick. Look at the outside, gets contained. He has nowhere to go but outside, and that, once again, short gain. That's going to be second, long nine, Barnum Knights. Callum beeping the shotgun. Whoa, once again, a high snap to count. Oh, no! Callum tries to recover the ball. It bounces off his chest, and it looks like it's still recovered by the Farnham Knights. Once again, a terrible snap causes the Farnham Knights very, very bad field possession. That ball is finally picked up by Aaron Sequala, but that's going to give the Farnham Knights a loss of yardage of about 35 yards. Look at this high snap. Now snaps it, and there it is, way over the head of Callum. And Callum trying to pick up the ball does it even worse, and that's going to be a loss of yardage for the Farnham Knights. Terrible field position and a great opportunity for the Bristol Aztecs to shut them down in this terrible field position and get possession of the ball themselves. Third down situation. And long. Knights got the receiver spread wide. Jameson, Wilcox spread well, far, far right. Godfrey, far left. Snapped again, very high. And he's going to throw it away. That ball is thrown away, but it went backwards, so it was still live. And no, they are saying it is a safety. Once again, a high snap causes the Farnham Knights grief, bad field position, and two points. Let's take another look at that again if we can. Just when the Knights were putting the pressure on the Bristol Aztecs, Two huge errors by the offense cost them more than just field position. It cost them two points. Your scoring update at this time, Farnham Knights a three, Bristol Aztecs 18. Once again, this is NAA, NCAA uh, college rules. The Farnham Knights will be kicking the ball off to the Bristol Aztecs. They will get another possession of the ball. We are in third quarter of pay, play with a minute 32 left. Niven puts it up high. Lands in the hands of number 85. He's gonna take it to the right side. He's got blocked into the right side by Joe Holiday. And he's got more, more down for the room before he's finally snuffed up there. Uh, that, that was Joe Cassidy on that block downfield. And he's finally snuffed up there by uh, Godfrey. Nowhere to go. That's gonna be a gain of about seven yards. That's gonna give the ball over. And that is going to be the end of the third quarter. Uh, play, ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Farnham Knights, three. Bristol Aztecs, 18. And we'd like to take, th take this time to thank our sponsors, as always, for bringing you today's live stream or fourth edition show. This is the end of the third quarter. Today's show is brought to you by the DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Blaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at the production team, Cheers Made Productions. I always like to thank our production managers, uh, Rich, uh, Richard and Tom. Gentlemen, thank you. You're doing a great job. So, uh, oh, once again, we would like to hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. Well, we always thank your comments and we welcome your information and your input. So, hashtag BAFA, get involved. Well, let's see if the Farnham Knights can uh, bounce back on that. They still have a good 15 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> 
couple of touchdowns, a couple of good conversions, and something special can turn the tide today. First and 10, Bristol Aztecs, they had the ball marked on their own 40. Webb out the shotgun, Webb's looking back. Webb's got the pressure put on. The pressure's coming on by the defense, and Webb's gonna keep it as he's going downfield. It's Webb as he's finally pushed out of bounds. And uh, between Nevin, Alexi, and some of the Aztec players, we may have something going on there. We'll get the official ruling, but we do got a flag play on the flag on the play. Let's get the official ruling there by Keith Wickham. Holding offense, 71, 10 yards, still first down. Well, that's going to push the ball back uh, 10 yards, holding against the offense. Aztecs will retain the ball. Well, let's take a look at if we can see who was hold that hold. Uh, okay, I seen the flag, so it was on the other side of the field. <laughs> Uh, number 71, that's the uh, right tackle for the Aztecs. So we, we play the down, first and 10. Webb, he's going to look for his man in the hands and down between the knees of number 21. Looks like that will be down. Very low throw there from Webb to the, recept to the uh, receiver. Come on, concentrate, fellas. Great game. Maharjan on that reception. But that will be a loss of yardage. That's going to be uh, second down. Second to 20, second down, 22 to the first. Knights looking to capitalize on a couple of their errors from the previous possession. Defense are looking to turn the tide for the Farnham Knights here. Webb back out the shotgun. He falls back. He's looking down to the left side. Right side, he's looking for his man. He finds him. He finds number 12 for the reception. That's Sean Cook. That's going to bring the ball up. A good, good uh, re completion of about 12 yards. That won't be enough for the first down, but that will get the ball back about to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be third and nine for the Bristol Aztecs. Great pass there to Sean Cook. Sean leaps up, boom, gets it. Keeps his hands on it, keeps his feet in bounds, and that's going to be for, uh, good enough to bring the ball down on uh, third and nine. Great play. Bristol lined up strong left. <laughs> Webb back out the shotgun. He takes the snap, low snap. He's looking back to the left side. He's looking for his man downfield, and the ball is up and is incomplete. Good pass protection there by Ampleford, number 25 for the Farnham Knights. That's gonna be an incomplete pass. That is gonna be a fourth down situation. Midfield for the Bristol Aztecs as they do lead the game 18 to three. And it looks like the special teams are gonna be coming out for the Knights. Godfrey back there ready to receive. And as you can see, that pass was way down there, almost into the hands. Great pass, a little bit overthrown, a little bit wide, uh, which made it incomplete. Back to punt today is going to be Mr. Cassidy, number four. Back to receive Godfrey. It's a shallow punt, but it's going to bounce and land right into the hands of Godfrey. Godfrey comes over to the left side. Godfrey trying to outrun the receiver, the special teams, and he's finally wrapped up by number 44 for the Bristol Aztecs. They're going to go on and take him down. That is Mr. Joe Christian for the Aztecs. That's going to give the Farnham Knights nice the ball on their own 22-yard line. First and 10, Farnham. Well, it looks like the sun's trying to peek out, show itself here in Surrey today. First down. Fourth quarter of play, 12.55, you have to play. Bonham comes out, Cameron on the left. Brown, not the shotgun. Brown finds his man, Sequala. Sequala's looking up the middle. Sequala is juking, and the ball comes out Sequala's hands, and it's a fumble. It's picked up by the Bristol Aztecs, and number 44 for the Bristol Aztecs has the ball as he tries to fight for more yards before he's brought down. That is Joe Christian on that uh, fumble recovery. 
in and out the hands of Sequala. Let's take another look at that. Sequala had the reception midfield. He takes it up about 10 yards and boom, out comes the ball. There it is. And look at there, picked up by Christian and he starts to take it the other way. That's gonna give the Bristol Aztecs a great opportunity once again to put the ball back into the end zone on the Farnham side as they take the ball on their own 24 yard line. <laughs> Uh, correction, that's on the Farnham Knights 24-yard line. First and 10, Bristol, strong right, strong left. They're looking for the end zone. Webb, he hands it off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn finds a hole up the left side. Sean Vaughn's turning it on. He's calling for blocking downstream, and it's Sean Vaughn. Good carry of about 15 yards. That's gonna be enough for a first down. Sean Vaughn for the Bristol Aztecs on the carry. Sean Vaughn bounces off, finds a hole. There he is, turns it on. And once he starts putting his shoulders down, he starts scrambling for more yardage. And that's going to be a good enough first and goal. Bristol. Bristol Aztecs. Wing right, wing left on both. And we got a timeout called. Timeout call, Farna. At 12 minutes, 12 minutes exactly, first time out, Farnham. We've got a time out by Farnham. We'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors once again. Today's show is brought to you by DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Blaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. We'd also like to thank you for watching. Remember, hashtag BAFA, get involved. And if you'd like to know more about the rules and regulations that we are playing here and the BAFANL, you can see that at www.bafra.info. That is www.bafra.info. Once again, we'd like to take the action back to the field. It's going to be first and goal, Bristol Knights, <laughs> Bristol Aztecs. Split wide and uh, left and right for the brass decks. Sean Vaughn in the eye back position. Webb taking the ball deep in the shotgun. Goal line defense for the Farnham Knights. Ball snapped and handed off to Sean Vaughn. Sean Vaughn is wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go. That's going to be no gain of any for the Bristol Aztecs before he's wrapped up by um, number 35, Mr. Kid. Number 30, that's, Re that's Stevie, number 30. Offside, defense, 23. Half the distance, still first down. Well, they call that against Andy Gillard. He jumped off sides. They're going to bring that ball half the distance. That is going to be uh, repeat that down first and goal. Bristol Aztecs, very fortunate for them on that on that, uh, on that that play. Aztecs lined up strong right. Sean Vaughn in the eye back. Webb in the shot guy. Sean Cook, number 12 in the lap. Snap, play action fake. Webb trying to keep it. Webb is sacked. Webb has nowhere to go. He has got the pressure being put on here by Mr. Michael Peacock, number 92, and Suchi, 95 for the Farnham Knights. Nowhere to go, and he has to take it down to the ground. That's going to be second and goal for the Bristol Aztecs. Uh, let's look at that pressure as the Farnham Knights put it on that goal line defense. As you can see, there is the play action fake. Nowhere to go. The pressure comes in from the left side. And down he goes. Second and goal. Split left, split right. Sean Iback. Webb shotgun. Goal line defense for the Farnham Knights. Snap is low. Webb races to the ball and he covers it. Loss of yardage on the low snap uh, error for the Bristol Aztecs. Going to be a loss of about 10 yards. Webb has enough sense to just lay down on the ball and that's gonna be a loss of yardage. Let's look at that low slap again. There it is, right between the legs, and good brain work there by Mr. Webb. Doesn't try to pick up the ball, lays right onto it, keeps possession of it. That's gonna be uh, second and a good 10 20. 10 minutes 17, 10 one seven, first timeout, Bristol. And that's a timeout, Bristol.
So we would like to thank all of you viewers once again and for watching our previously streamed shows. We've had a great turnout and numbers. Once again, doesn't matter where you are, we can bring the show to you. We thank you for your comments and your feedback as, as always. So uh, we'd like to always see, hear you and see you. Hashtag BAFA. Get involved. Third and a very long to the goal for the Bristol Aztecs as once again they line up split left on both sides, winging it uh, with Sean Vaughn in the eye back. Man on man coverage there for the Farnham Knights defense. The whistle is blown. Oh, this is exciting. What are the Bristol Aztecs going to do on this one? They hand it off to Sean Vaughn. Boom! He is wrapped up by the men in blue. Nowhere to go. It's babyface Nelson on the tackle number 59 for the Farnham Knights. That's going to be a fourth down situation for the Bristol Aztecs. What are they going to do on this one as they do lead the game? 10-01, 3-18. Look at the tackle put on there by Michael Peacock. Nowhere to go there. Split ref and right. Sean Vaughn, way about the shotgun. He's looking upfield. He's looking for 82. He's looking for 82. And the ball is up and incomplete. Good pass protection there by Tom Tame, number 38, and, uh, number, and Mr. Kidd, number 35. That's going to turn the ball back over to the Farnham Knights. First and 10. Great pass protection there by the Farnham Knights on that play, keeping that very important play from being six points on the board. As we know, look at that guy. Number 82, he has good hands, but on this pass perception, it just happened to be a little bit wide. Pass is incomplete, and that was intended for um, Otis Newberry. Callum takes a snap, hands it off, play action to Sequala, looks up mill for Jameson, passes incomplete. Brown, Jameson, attempt is incomplete, Jameson, middle fib. Second and 10, Farnham. Now you can see Callum Brown is getting the pass protection from the Farnham O-line. He just needs to find that fan that's gonna be open and hold onto the ball like you see, there it is. Little pressure being pulled on, but he has time to set. Upfield and incomplete. Second and ten, Farnham. Brown takes it out the shotgun. Play action, sends it over there in the hands of Jamison on the right side. Jamison scrambling for some yardage, gets a gain of about three yards before he's finally dragged down. That's gonna be third long seven, Knights. Good hands there by Jamison. A quick snap done by Brown. Look at that quick turnaround. Boom. Right into the hands of Jamison. He holds on to it from the fumble. A little jiggle there, excuse me. And he puts his head down. Starts scrambling for that more yardage. I like how he runs the ball. Third and a long six yards there for the Farnham Knights as they try to scramble and push that chain into Bristol Aztec territory. Cameron, Godfrey, strong left. Cameron, uh, Jameson on the right. Play action is to Godfrey. Godfrey catches the reception. Godfrey's breaking a tackle. Godfrey's trying to spin to the first down. He may have it. Looks like he's a little bit short. What a reception there by Stephen Godfrey. Breaks one tackle on the spin. Gains another three yards before he's trying to drag down by the Bristol Aztecs. And that's going to be enough for the first down as they bring the chains down. Great play, Farnham Knights. As you can see there, that was a quick snap there, a quick quick toss of the screenplay. Great feet work, footwork there by Stephen Godfrey. And he happens to be enough for the first down. That's gonna be first and 10 as they move the ball down. That ball is marked on the 33 yard line. Callum Brown out the shotgun. Farnham Knight strong right. It's a call on the backfield. He looks to the right. He's fine. Godfrey on the right side. Godfrey's breaking another tackle. Another gain of about three yards for Stephen Godfrey. The Farnham Knights, they're gonna shuffle it from the left side and they're gonna go to the right side. Moving Godfrey around. Once again, he's got that uh, great pair of hands. Great speed, moves the ball down. That's gonna be second down. Second. Second and long seven. Holding offense, 87, 10 yards, still first down. Well, they're gonna call that penalty against uh, Jameson, and that's gonna be 
10 yards there, and that's gonna push that ball back. Penalties are gonna kill the Knights on that, on that drive. That's gonna be a first and 20. Let's take another look at that. Let's see if we can see Jamison there. Um, I can't see him on the screen. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, there it is. There it is, that's very unfortunate there. That's gonna be first and 20 Farnham Knights. Callum, pitch to Sequala. Sequala's got the foot race against number 44 in the back and he brings him down, nowhere to go. Great speed there by uh, Joe Christian and that's gonna be a loss of yardage on the Farnham Knights against Aaron Sequala. Let's look at the speed there from Joe Christian as he comes from that secondary again and makes the play. There it is and the speed of him, he puts it on, and once he puts his hands on you, Joe does not let go, and he's gonna bring you right down to the ground. That's gonna be a negative yardage against the Farnham Knights, giving them second, and a good 25 to 35 to 40 yards for the first down. Hand it off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room to the left side. Sequala's got his turn on. It's Aaron Sequala as he tries to race to get a little bit more yardage. He's gonna be shot, stopped short about a gain about eight yards. A third down situation, still third and still long for the Farnham Knights, third and about uh, 20 yards. Let's take a look at that again. Pass to Aaron Sequala, a nice hole gets open. Aaron jukes it over to the left side, finds some room. See, and look at that work by Aaron Sequala before he's finally pulled down. Keeps possession of the ball, and that's gonna be third, 20, Farnham Knights. 6.45, game play. Brown out the shotgun. Once again, back to Sequala. Sequala finds a guard an open between the right side. Sequala still on his feet. It's Aaron Sequala as he scrambles for more yards. Aaron Sequala gets the ball back up to the line of scrimmage and another positive two. And that's gonna be a fourth and eight down, eight for the Farnham Knights. What a run by Aaron Sequala. Look at him bouncing off the tackles, still on his feet. He keeps his legs pumping. He never stops pumping his legs, and that gives him the extra yardage for the Farnham Knights. Four and a long eight, Farnham, as Callum Brown still in the huddle. Looks like the, Far the Farnham Knights are gonna go for the first down. Strong night right for the Knights. And we got a flag. And looks like we may have the Knights drawn off by the defense, but it may be against the Knights. Let's get the official ruling over on the field by Keith Wickham. Over to you, Keith. Full start, offense, 66, five yards. Down. Well, that's against Outweight, number 66, and that's gonna push it back, and fourth down situation still for the Farnham Knights. I don't see the special teams coming out, it looks like they're gonna stay on the field, and it looks like the Knights may still be going for it. Uh, let's get the official ruling there. We have Pete Tutal still on the field. The game's not gonna start yet, and let's get the official ruling from Keith. After play, unsportsmanlike conduct, the head coach. Half the distance, still fourth down. Well, we got an unsportsmanlike conduct called against uh, Pete Two Tall Fields today in Farnham, Surrey. So that is going to bring That's that. That's the first uh, unsportsmanlike on the head coach. I won't reiterate that, but that is going to bring the special teams out for the Farnham Knights, and here they come. They will be punting the ball off. Back to uh, receive for the Bristol Aztecs is number four, uh, Joe Cassidy. Back to punt will be number 99, Mr. Niven, for the Farnham Knights. Fourth quarter of play here in Farnham, Surrey. 6-13, steal the lane. Farnham Knights three, Bristol Aztecs 18. Anything can still happen here today in Farnham, Surrey. We got a nice clean snap. 
Niven puts the ball up. It's going to be a shallow punt, and it's going to go right into the hands of number seven. He's looking for some movement on the left side. He's got five. He's got ten. He's got twelve before he's finally broke up uh, by the men in blue. And once again, there are flags all over the field here. Good run there by number seven, uh, Nathan. Gets the ball up a little bit past midfield before he's finally wrapped up by the men in blue. Let's get the official ruling on the flags from Keith Whitman. Join the return, personal foul. 52 on the returning team. 15 yards to the flag, first down. Well, that is going to be against Michael for the Bristol Aztecs. Uh, let's see if we can see Michael there. I can see him on the screen. So let's see uh, as Michael puts the pressure on. Okay, uh, okay, so we fall in the ball. Let's see if we can see what happens there. Oh, okay, there it is over there to the far left. A little bit of a scruffle there. And that is gonna be where they're going to mark a penalty. And so that is gonna push the ball back. That's gonna be uh, first and 10 for Bristol. They will be marking the ball on the 40 yard line. First and 10, Aztecs. Once again, we're always wanting to hear more from you today. Hashtag BAFA, get involved. Aztecs lined up, snap audible. They hand it off to Victor DeFoley. Oh, Foley gets a good gain of about a yard and a half, keeps the ball on the ground. Second long eight for Bristol. Uh, let's take another look at that carry from Victor as he goes right through the left side. Finds a hole, just enough for him to get another yard there. And piles right on through. Second and eight, Bristol. Bristol has changed their formation. They've come in tight with uh, Victor DeFoley in the eye back today. Putting Otis Newberry far right. Play action fake, and they send it up to the man, number 12. The pass is incomplete, and we got a flag on the play. Andy Giller reaches over to uh, the receiver, number 12, Sean Cook. Looks like he may have touched him. Let's get the official ruling on the field. Boss interference, defense, 23. 15 yards from previous spot, first down. Well, that is going to be pass interference against Andy Giller. Um, I've seen it clean as day. Um, for the tender receiver, and he had his hand reaching through, and that's going to be called uh, pass interference. And as you can see right here, there it is. He is all over the man. Um, that is definitely going to be pass interference against the Farnham Knights. And that is going to, uh, well, that should be moving the ball down. That should be a first down. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. They move the chains on down. Mark that. That'll be first and 10, Bristol Aztecs. 434, fourth quarter of play. Bristol Aztecs maintaining possession of the ball. Farnham Knights three, Bristol Aztecs 18. Here in Farnham, Monk Lane Rugby Stadium. Snap audible. It's handed off to Victor. Pass. Oh, and what a play action fake. And they get it back to the man, number 12. Oh, Sean Cook, what a play once again by the Bristol Aztecs. They do a play action fake to number 15, Victor O'Foley. He goes through the hole, half of the blimmin and blue go with him, and then they hand it to, up to the middle on a beautiful toss over to number 12, and he makes the reception. That's gonna be a good game for the uh, Bristol Aztecs. There it is, lefty tosses it right on up, right into the hands. Boom, he's got it. Sean Cook, first down, Bristol. Bristol's looking to get the ball in the end zone, first and goal. Coming out the shotgun. It's handed off to Victor. Victor pounding through the middle, and he's finally stopped by uh, Alexi, number 69, for the Farnham Knights. And Michael Peacock, number 92. Short game, second and goal. Once again, for the rules and regulations, uh, see the official referee site, www.
Bafra.info. That is www.bafra.info. Second and goal, Bristol Aztecs. Snap. Hand it off to Victor. Victor finds the hole off the cut, off the tackle, and it's Victor Ofoli. A good gain of about three yards. He's finally drugged down by the Farnham Knights. Victor Ofoli finds a hole off the right tackle, piles on through it, gain of about three yards. Now let's take another look. Boom, big hole, and there he goes right on through it before the Knights finally wrapped him up. The offensive line there for the Bristol Aztecs is doing their job. That's going to be third and goal, about five yard lines to get themselves into the end zone for Bristol here. Snap audible call by Mr. Webb. Number 10. Hands it off to Victor. And now play action fake. He finds his man again. This the same play. Play action fake to Victor Ofoli. Over the heads to Sean Cook. Sean Cook into the end zone. Touchdown. Bristol Aztecs. Let's take another look at that play. They did it before and it worked. Boom. The lefty uses that ability, and there it is right over the top, and that is going to be good. What a play executed by the Bristol Aztecs. Bristol goes for the extra conversion. And that once again, they're going to shoot it over there. The play action fake once again to Victor. And he finds his man number 82, Otis Newberry. And the two points are going to be good. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Farnham Knights 3, Bristol Aztecs 26 here in Farnham Stadium. Let's look at that two point again. What a play. The lefty holds on to it. I don't know if you can see how he creates. What an illusion. And that and only can be done from a left-handed quarterback, and he makes it work well, puts another six points on, as he is a very happy man, Mr. Sean, Mr. Webb, number 10 for the Bristol Aztecs. That is going to be your scoring update here. Farnham Knights 3, Bristol Aztecs 26, 2-23 still in the fourth quarter of play. Thank you ever so much for watching. Let's hear more from you. We're getting a lot of feedback. Hashtag BAFA. Get involved. Once again, we would like to thank our sponsors today, DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Productions. Kick off by number nine for the Bristol Aztecs, and he puts it nice and cleanly right into Stephen Godfrey's hands. Stephen Godfrey's looking down the middle. Stephen Godfrey's going to the left side. He does a little ball work, and Stephen Godfrey cuts another cup. He's looking for some room before he's finally brought down. Stephen Godfrey trying to scramble to get as much yardage as possible before he's finally caught midfield. And once again, we have high energy on the field today. Stevie, number 30, is fired up out there for the Farnham Knights. And we got, once again, that high energy before it is finally broke up by the referees. We do have a flag. Let's get the official ruling here by Keith Wickham. As always, we would like to thank our viewers, and we would really like to thank you for being with us on our fourth edition of the Farnham Knights live stream show as the Farnham Knights are hosting the Bristol Aztecs here in Farnham, Surrey. We had a couple of flags on that last play, so we're gonna get the official ruling from the referees on the field. Once again, if you are interested in being one of the players here, see your local team. You can find your local team, www.bafa.com. That is www.bafa.com. Also, you can find your local team and what's going on in your local area by going Personal to Double Coverage, double coverage, double coverage in, uh, on the web. You can find them and you can get uh, their official information. 30, 30 Farnham and 44 Bristol, both players and disqualify themselves for the rest of the game.
Well, that's going to be Stevie thing, is ejected guys. and Joe Christian have been uh, disqualified. Difference. Not ejected, disqualified for the rest of the game. So those two players will not be uh, will not be playing for the for the remainder of the 208 of the fourth quarter of game. As always, we would like to always thank our sponsors here today, uh, DNA Pickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, and our friends at Cheers Mate Production. Cheers Mate. Personal foul 30, personal foul 44. The penalty is offset, first down. So though those penalties do offset, the players will still be disqualified for the remainder of the game. We are 208, fourth quarter of play. You're scoring update today. Farnham Knights, three. Bristol Aztecs, 26, here in Farnham, Surrey. Ready? Here we go, then. <laughs> Callum Brown, first and 10, takes it out of the shotgun. Callum sits in the pocket. He's looking upfield to, to Godfrey. Up and oh, a, a play was deflected by number four, Joe Cassidy for the Bristol Aztecs. The pass was intended for Stephen Godfrey. Great play, great pass protection there for uh, Mr. Brown as he sets up, looks downfield, passes way up beautifully, and a great defensive play there. Nicely clean, uh, cleanly executed there by Joe Cassidy. That's going to be second and ten, Farnham Knights. Farnham Knights lined up strong right, ball on the backfield. Pressure's being put on. Callum's looking for Godfrey again, and oh, another play by May. and we got a flag. Cassie's saying that cannot be pass interference. The flag saying that it is. Uh, let's get the official ruling on the field. Let's see if we can get an instant replay of that again. Okay, so we still got action on the field there. Um, what's pass interference, defense, number four. 15 yards, automatic first down. Okay, so that is going to be against Joe Cassidy. Uh, that was pass interference, so that is going to be an automatic first down. Let's take another look at that play. Uh, let's see if our cameraman can catch it there. Um, oh, we can't see that on there. Let's see if we can get another angle. Thank you, production team. And... There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. There's a touch on the left shoulder and over the right, that is gonna be pass interference. Good call by the line judge on that. That is gonna be first and 10, Farnham. My time at one minute 57, one minute 57, that's the two minute warning in the game. Two minutes, two minutes in the game, Bristol, two minutes. Well, that is the two minute warning. So uh, as the tension is still building up here in Farnham, Surrey, Okay, <laughs> we still have the uh, official time out there. A few giggles and a few jaunts there between the, uh, the teams. Good to see that they're trying to ease some of that tension. Great sportsman like there. 
and a low snap to, to Mr. Brown. He's still going to get rid of it. He finds Stephen Godfrey, and it's Stephen Godfrey into the end zone. Well, play goes from rags to riches. Calvin Brown on the low snap still finds Godfrey open in the middle, and it's in the hands of Stephen Godfrey. That's going to be six points on the board for the Farnham Knights. Let's look at that again. A very low snap. Callum still picks it up. He's still got very good protection. And then there he is. Godfrey all alone in the middle. Boom! Into Stephen Godfrey. Foot race. Stephen Godfrey turns it in. Six points for the Knights. Knights going for the extra attempt. Two point conversion. And Callum tries to do the quarterback keeper, and he is wrapped up. That is going to be no good. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here in Farnham. Farnham Knights 9, Bristol Aztecs 26. Still 147 of gameplay left today here in Farnham Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Once again, we would always thank you for watching today's live streaming show and for watching our previous week's live streaming show. Once again, we will be here next week bringing you live coverage of the Farnham Knights. We always like to thank our sponsors for bringing you today's show. DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Made Production. And as always, we would like to thank you the viewers for watching today's show. We are still one minute and 47 seconds in the fourth quarter of play. Once again, your scoring update. Farnham Knights 9, Bristol Aztecs 26. Let's watch the rest of the game. This is very exciting. Can somebody take a swig of something cold for me? All right, ladies and gentlemen, number 99, Niven, to kick it off in the Farnham Knights. Another onside kick by Niven, but it gets into the hands of number seven for the Bristol Aztecs, and he's trying to run. He has brought down negative yards from the time he picked up the ball. That was received there by Nathan. Um, he gets uh, negative yards from the time they received the ball, ran back a couple of yards. He finally swooped up by the man in blue. That is going to give them the ball about midfield. First and 10, Bristol. Once again, it is always so good to see such a big turnout here at the Farnham Rugby Stadium. This is a great facility. Come on down, be a part of it. Enjoy yourselves. We have a great club over there, great concessions, hot dogs, hamburgers, and beverages. <laughs> always like to see you here. We're going to be here next week bringing you the live stream as the Farnham Knights will be hosting the Kent Exiles. First and 10, Bristol Aztecs. Ball is at the 44-yard line. Brown out the shotgun. Play action to 21. He hands it off and he is swooped up. Nowhere to go there by the running back Maharzan on that carry. That's going to be a loss of yardage, second and 14 for the Bristol Aztecs as they attempt to run the clock out with 126 left and the fourth quarter of play. Let's look at that play again, as you can see on the play action fake, that there was nowhere to go for the receiver before the men in blue wrapped his hands on onto it. There's big, and he finds number 82. He finds him, Otis Newberry. He spins from the left. He spins from his right. He spins back to his right, and he catches the ball. He had his knee on the ground. That is going to be a dead ball at the reception, and then we do have a man down for the Farnham Knights. Let's see if we can take another look at that play while we have um, medics looking at our man down. Webb in the pocket after the clap audible. He has protection, the play action. The pressure comes on, he tosses it out there, and look at this, the left to the right, and boom, in the hands. He downs himself at the reception, but that is gonna bring the chains down. First and 10, Bristol Aztecs. And we do have, um, that is Aaron, is that Aaron Hayes? Aaron Hayes been do, doing some great plays today. He has been a playmaker. 
You remember uh, that um, Aaron Hayes uh, did have the uh, interception earlier today in the game. Also a couple of key tackles there. I can hear the crowds applauding uh, as Aaron Hayes is being helped off the field by the physio and Coach Ox. Coach Tangle there also. Good to see that he's okay. Under a minute of gameplay here in Farnham, Surrey. As always, we want to thank you for your comments and your support. Thank you for seeing us today at hashtag BAFA. As always, we love to hear from you. And for watching the show, we greatly appreciate it. Please feel free to share our feed uh, to all your friends and family. And we would like to see you next week once again as the Farnham Knights will be hosting the Kent Exiles here at Monk Lane uh, Stadium, for, uh, Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Apologies at Farnham Rugby Stadium here on Monk Lane in Farnham, Surrey. Thank you, production. Moncton, apologies. I'm gonna blame it on my accent. First and 10, as the Bristol Aztecs looks like they're gonna down the ball. They're gonna wind the clock down. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your game here in Farnham, Surrey. Your scoring update today, Farnham Knights 9, Bristol Aztecs 26. We would always like to thank you for watching. We would like to thank our sponsors once again for bringing you the fourth edition of our show, DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheersmate. My name is Maz Hillborn. We'll be here next week as we are going to be hosting the Cape Exiles. Until next week, peace, love, and American football.